I must absolutely be dreaming. Danky 8000 is starting right on time. Wow. Are the stars aligned? What's going on here? I don't know, but it is right on the top of the hour, my friends. And we are back in Banisher's Coast of New Eden. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we have plans to try and finish this game today. There are only four more major chapters or missions left in the main story. However, um, in order to get the better endings, you really, really have to... Um, grind out certain well not grind out that's not the right word uh you have to play certain missions um in order to uh really get them now like i said before there's one of two missions or sorry not one of two missions there's one of two variants if you will uh of the best endings there's there's two good end endings if you will one being um you know you ascend the other being you what's the term uh re uh, re, 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 not, not reborn, but like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's like the, it's like an alternate version of reborn, rebirth, not rebirth, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Re, 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 you know, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of it. It's like, it's like re, it's like, it's like come up from the dead, but not. Yeah, no, come up from the dead. That's literally what it means. It, anyway, we'll figure it out in a second. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, I actually think there's resurrection. That sounds right. Yeah, that's probably what I'm looking for. Yeah, the word is resurrection. Thank you. Resurrection. There you go. So ascension or resurrection. So wait, do we want to put her spirit to rest and release her or bring her back to the, uh, arch the actual, you know, human world, you know, where, where people roam, but at, at the expense of killing how many potentially innocent people? It, it doesn't sound like a good... Uh, like a good ending to me. So I don't know. I, I think in order to bring her back to resurrect her, you actually do need to grind out every single mission for it to work. Um, I think to get the other good ending, you just have to, you know, do the side missions that make sense. I still want to do them because I like them and I like leveling up and that's how you get level up. So anyway, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see. Like I said, we'll play the first two missions of four. And then once we do the first two missions, we'll start grinding out sideies. And at the side, and like I said, there are a lot of side missions on the map. You guys saw them. Most side missions take about 30 minutes a pop from what I've done, from what I've seen. I've done a good chunk of side missions already. So if there's like, say, six side missions, that's three hours of side missions. And if there's three hours of side missions, hell, maybe that'll be enough time to, you know, if we can do three hours of mains and three hours of sides, that might be a perfect stream, or even four hours of fit mains, or five hours of mains, even five hours of mains. Uh, will still work so uh, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens so thank you guys for joining me hopefully we'll be able to finish this game because like I said I got a schedule to adhere to and we need to get some some of these older games finished up before I run out of time so anyway uh, let's go through chat we'll say our hellos guys don't forget to say what's up in the chat so I know you're here and make sure you leave a like on the stream as well guys all right all right here we go let's see what's up Charles hey Judd what's up money uh, what's up Juan hey Annie of course what's up no cap hey Ashant Hey, Alyssa, welcome. Uh, who else here? What's up, Min? Uh, what's up, Muhammad? Hey, Tim. And Alan, what's good? Obviously, anyone else still lurking in the chat or still have yet to be come to join us? We will see them shortly or welcome if you're lurking in the chat. All right, guys. So let's jump right back into it. Literally, we are going to kick things off with the first mission, the Inkwell, because of where the, the last one ended. It's one of those ones where we're not in between where we can just go here. It just kind of started and we're locked into an area. So we can't like go wander around while doing this mission. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. So anyway, guys, welcome back. Without further ado, let's get started. Jump into Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden, part three. All right, we shall continue. Okay, so fine lamentation Haskell. We just transported. I don't know if you guys remember that. This is the son, or Haskell, excuse me. This is the son of that uh, that guy who, you know, originally said he was fine and dandy when he isn't. Anyway. Oops, you are not supposed to be playing. There we go. Now, you're going to have to give me a second, because every time I miss this game for a second, I end up, like, forgetting how to play Lord. it. Think you can fend for yourself. Shouldn't take me too long, though. What up, Frank? What you guys got going on today other than spending it with me? <laughs> All right, don't forget to hit the Q. Take care. 
The place is warded. Wards work well enough. You didn't need to kill so many bots. Demonologists use necromancy. Maybe he thought he'd bring them back when he was done. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? There's a lot of wards around here. All of all that work this guy did to put up the wards. But he's been he's been practicing in, in like occult style rituals and and messing with like demonology and this sort of thing, so and his dad doesn't believe it. So if you guys just trying to bring you guys up to speed, we're trying to remind him. We're trying to like get proof to show that hey, your son is dabbling in things your son is meddling in things that are not to be meddled in. Dangerous. Spectres. Oh damn it. They haven't noticed us. Stay low. Just avoid them? There's nothing even over there, so let's just skip them. Fuck them. The only thing waiting for us there. Maybe can I tiptoe on my Jodens? Maybe we can just avoid them. Take care. The place is warded. I see it. Let's just avoid them. If we can leave the wards and not Can I go through the middle? Careful now. They're not. An Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. They don't even have to know we're here. Until it falls apart. Then you're stuffed like force meat in a turkey. Uh, never mind. What's up, Gareth? How's it going? Damn, where is everybody today? People not get the stream notification? I don't think so. I don't know which way is considered the right path. What's the point of this? Atmosphere? <sighs> Creepy hideout. The governor's spawn likes a bit of drama. I love what she called him the governor's spawn. Hand draw map of the Harrow is with the initials ER. Two places have been circled, the abandoned mill and God's Acre Cemetery. We've been there for both of those places. Veil between the Arlu, the Arlu, Arlu, yeah, yeah. And the Incarnate seems particularly thin in these two areas. Breach. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. Ghostly appar apparitions can be controlled or at least shepherded with a variety of known rituals. These must be performed with great care, lest control be seated, to potentially catastrophic effect. An illegible p equation. If the words of power differ from 0 0.1 in intensity and appropriate protections are not carefully used, the ghost will appear, but will not bend to the demonologist's will. This is to be avoided on risk of widespread injuries, death, or worse. This is some dark sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. Oh, what is this thing? Vanisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> Do we find him? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just be waiting here, hands on hips. <laughs> so, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Husker? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Oh, plane? World? The Aralu is not easily described, but it makes a fascinating study. 
Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. It looks like, um... Honestly, I feel like we're playing Hogwarts Legacy right now. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Revelio. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Uh, not sure, depending on how much time I have any, maybe a workout or a often stop by his workshop. Um we talked. He took a keen interest in my studies and was a good watch the game as well. When he learned that she could possibly return, he had one question. How? Men bonding over bereavement and black magic. A pretty tale indeed. I should have proceeded with more caution. You shouldn't have proceeded at all. We have a witch hunt on our hands. You could face trial for this botched ritual. Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of De Occulti Philosophia by Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim. A remarkable book. I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists, and none own an authentic Agrippa. Much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. How very fascinating! You mistake foolishness for audacity. You must mend your ways. Surely the acquisition of knowledge cannot be a sin. Will you still say that when Pennington accuses you of witchcraft? You must remember Deborah. Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I remember. Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be in a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. Oh, no, the, uh, the Euler game, hockey game. Yeah, it's on, it's on later tonight. By the Aralu, do you mean the Void? Neither name does it justice. This place is beyond words. The Aralu, Mr. McCray, is made of the very fabric of our primordial myths. Isn't it amazing? How can you be sure the void has tainted the region? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Yes, we learned of it in Fort Jericho. I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. What 
do you expect to find at the source of the ooze? To find a cure. The ooze seeps into our world, sickening us. I may be able to stop it. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I am a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Are you a demonologist like your father? More or less. Less, more so. My father sees occultism through the eyeglass of his faith, but I know better. So, more so? If you don't share your father's faith, what do you believe? I believe in the afterlife. The proof is about us. And if the void embodies eternal despair, there must too be a place of hope. Where? I ask myself, where? Your father is convinced a witch poisoned his well. Caleb Watson was cursed by a ritual you gave him. I'd focus if I were you. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Uh, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them. The very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them where he does not. I did no wrong. Apart from a little theft. You've studied demonology. Did you do it alone? When my father forbade me to continue, I confess I disobeyed him in secret. Those big books were very boring, until they were forbidden. Suddenly I could not get enough of their secret knowledge. Funny, eh? More recently, a good friend of my father showed me that I had only been scratching at the surface. Who was your father's friend? An itinerant Frenchman who often visited New Eden in recent years. He called himself a true pursuer. I have a feeling we've met this guy As already. Thinker, he was prolific and profound. Or something like that. Maybe not. My but... father was so proud to be included in his discourse. For him, knowledge is the ladder to greatness, and greatness is the prize. To me, knowledge is itself the prize. Let's go take a closer look at that ooze then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Lamy. But thank you. He was very helpful, honestly. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mr. Stuarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just you're the first ghost I've met, uh, in person, as it were. I don't eat. Not in the way you do. I feel hunger. Again, not in the way you do. Fascinating. And can you touch things, smell them? Are colors the same as you remember them? My senses are different. It's difficult to describe how 
I can see, sometimes touch. I cannot smell. Red tells me this is a blessing. How do you manifest in this plane? Do you feel bound or are you here by choice? It feels as if I were clinging to a rope high above the abyss. Even if I wished to let go, I could not bring myself to do it. I see. What about your banisher skills? Can you use them? Do the accoutrements of your craft still work? As a ghost, do they not harm you? The marks on my hands and the rings on my fingers aren't actually there. They have no more effect on me than a memory. Can you talk to any ghost you wish? No. I sense traces of their presence. To talk to them, I must still do the work. And yet here I am, talking to you. How marvelous. The dead are rarely as articulate, nor are they accommodating. In fact, they're often quite rude. We should probably get going. Some other time, then. Well, we've merely scratched at the surface of the great mysteries. I mean, look around us. We stand here beyond the ultimate frontier. S sorry. I mean to say, yes, Mistress Duarte. All right, anyway, can we move on? Damn. I'm literally looking for ooze. If that ain't a Ghostbuster, I don't know. What's up, Adapting? Who else jumped in? Nathan, what's up? Uh, James, what's up? Honestly, it was a game I didn't so, think I was going to be that special, but I've actually really enjoyed it so far. It's surprisingly good. I was as earnest as he. Ah, the rank enthusiasm of youth. It's sickening, really. Oh, God. Hey, Jason. Sure, it was fine. That all right, she can't. Am I just leaving now? Something has me. Yeah, yeah, I see Wards. it. Well, I don't see it. I just, I just, I see that something has you. It's fine so far. Not much has happened. It's still early, though. <laughs> Man, I'm just going in fucking circles at this point. Where do you want me to go? Like, this way. Oh, so I see. No, I was up here already, wasn't I? A ward restrains me. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. It's telling me to go up here, which is interesting. You know what? The ward is... This is probably where we ultimately go. think so it's got to be accessible for someone to hang that's see she's yeah so the ward is somewhere wards you're on your own you think it'd be like up here or something huh? hey Ramita you doing but then I'm out of the spot here so it's like yeah see I do have to launch but I can't do it until Ghost I get rid of wards it's like get rid of the ward. Manifest. But I can't see it. Normally they're very obvious, which is why it's like annoying that I can't find it right now. Come on, bro. I don't want to be searching around all day. Does anybody see a ward anywhere? Where the fuck is it? I am warded. I cannot. Dude, these things are normally pretty obvious. 
I can't worry. Yes, thanks. I'm just trying. You don't have to tell me every time. Shit. Bro, where is the ward? This is ridiculous. There it is. I'm at your side again. Fuck, finally. That was ridiculous. Okay, now this should be a launch point. All part of their plan, right? Wow. Get back up. Roll. I gotta get back into my combat flow. Is through the breach. Suppurates like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Honestly, at this point, Jason, if I'm 100% honest, um, I, I've been, I was in need of a break from Tomb Raider. It was getting on my nerves and it was making me frustrated the control scheme was very outdated and the camera was driving me absolutely mad i felt this one all right oh which one what do i need to do oh it's the void breach right that we're doing i mean I, i'll probably keep continue it at some point but it's it's been pushed to the last it's like the last one on my list right now i think honestly like any of the tomb raider not not just two specifically it's just i need a minute from tomb raider is all i'm saying I mean, we got WWE coming out in a couple weeks too. There's a lot of big games coming out soon. Underground looks like. Wait, it says ritual failed. Okay. Which is interesting. The ooze affects the incarnate too. Who goes there? Me. It's me. Is that a ghost? I don't know, but I don't think we're alone. What might you be then? What was? Oh shite! Did you? Did you just say shite? You? What is that? Hey, Charles. What was that all about? We got ourselves a. I, I feel like Is we've been here before. It looks similar. We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick. Did it fall? Dude, th you have to admit this is a really cool environment right now. Dearest parents, Ruben and I are settled here in Providence. Our home is quaint and quite lovely. You would like it. I think, though, perhaps you would argue against the colors of the drapes. We attend the meeting house with rigor. The sermon Sunday last was particularly beautiful, and I'm certain you would have enjoyed it. Men of pi pi piety there yet... Yeah. Men of piety there are yet in New England. In your last letter, you mentioned that the farm has seen some trouble. If God tests you, I am full sure that you will pass his examination. However, should you need it, Reuben will be delighted to make you alone. We may also consider a visit... Should you agree to certain stipulations on your behavior in a matter of speaking, particularly to Reuben, who deserves neither wheedling nor snide remarks, your daughter, Amity. This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. Alright, as above, so below, new ring. It's got better wrath, but everything else is in the shitter. Not by a lot, to be honest, but using leap increases the damage of the next punch attack by 150%. No, I prefer that. This Oh, the amulet can be upgraded. Is there anything other than... Everything can be upgraded, but this is a level 4. I, 
I mean, I have to inspect. I'll just, like, light the fire to get the save point. And it's a fast travel jaunt as well. Inside the Pandora box. All right. And the woman being astonished thereat confessed those things to be true, and that she and other persons named in this paternal discourse had had familiarity with the devil. Being asked whether she had made an express covenant with him, she answered she had not, only as she promised to go with him when he called, which accordingly she had sundry times done. All right. Inside the Pandora box. <clears throat> Since Pandora broke the jar, releasing all the proverbial curses upon mankind, epidemics are often considered a punishment or an ordeal imposed by the gods. Stuck in their narrow sight, scientists beg to differ and prefer to search for natural causes to the many consequences. As often, the answer is somewhere else, between these rival conceptions and at the same beyond them. Undoubtedly, all the epidemics do not come from, from a breach in the fabric of the incarnate, but the regularity, the periodic periodicity of and and the malign malignant malignity of such incidents throughout the world should all be counted as evidence of such breach and influence of the other side. The Aralu, the great below. After all, wasn't Pandora's true name Anisadora, she who sends up gifts, as in from within the earth? Healers, doctors, priests, and witches all should search for these signs like the true pursuer does. For until they seal off the void's breach oozing of the gifts of the underworld, they will remain like ants trying to stop a forest's fire. As long as blind zealots arresting and hanging sorcerers and worshippers who have supposedly spread the disease. When most of the most of the time those cultists assembled here because oozing gifts called them in the first place. They will be like sheeps confused, confusing the sheepdogs with the wolves, offering opportunities for the true pursuer to investigate without being noticed. I suppose I'm going to... Okay, noticed, I suppose. I am going to look, look, going to love looking for all that ill mouth nearby New Eden. ER. I mean, the lore is interesting here as well. Picking up something spectral nearby. Is there anything... To, oh, wait, yeah, no, there's a campfire. Let's spend the upgrades. <clears throat> right? So the amulet's gonna get upgraded. It's the lowest level here, I think. Uses a void splinter. Willpower is gonna go up a little bit. Persistence goes up. There you go. Next one's an elite gem. Oh, this one's a four as well. The wristband needs an upgrade. We need nest silt for that, but everything else is ready. Punch damage goes up just a tiny bit. When do we get our next upgrade for this one? Oh my gosh, guys, we're so close. We need one more waxy cap. One. That's it. We have enough scourge accretion. So I'm going to... You guys got to understand, that little uh, that little mushroom I picked up, that's a waxy cap. Something's here. Hidden. So if I find another mushroom, another waxy cap, I'm going to use it. On that. All right. Wall repair, tides, ale and bread, candles, carpenter, wood, us. Oh, it's all, oh, never mind. This is just account books. I don't need to read each one of these. The Gibbs' land was barren. They were struggling for money. This is something, something over here. That's a way in. Before we do that, I think I don't think I have a choice in the matter, but looks like I can climb it. Ooh, please have some waxy caps. It won't, but that'd be nice. Oh, are you serious? Is that not shootable right now? Then I guess not. Oh snap! Waxy cap. I can't believe I need one waxy cap, guys. And that was just a coincidence that I really decided to look at it. Far Cry 6. Why is my brain f forgetting what Far Cry 6 was? Uh, who is the villain? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it took me a second. I'm like, wow, was that game that forgettable? I didn't mind Far Cry 6. I, I definitely preferred 5 better. I'd say Far Cry 6 was along the lines of Far Cry 4, but I still think Far Cry 4 had better storytelling. Because Far Cry 4 was a tad forgettable. You're in its sight, 
Oh, wrong button. I had to do a heavy. Quick shoot. I remember that combo. That's a waste. Finally. That took me way too long. I gotta get my combos back down, Pat, you know? They're a little bit wishy-washy, my friends. That's okay. Seriously, whenever I play this game, though, for real, guys, I get, like, this... This... This this fun feeling. Like, I'm actually enjoying this gameplay. And I feel like a lot of people are pa gonna pass this game up. I would still wait until a price drop, because I think they're asking a tad much, but... I still think it's a really solid game. Okay, what was... Oh, wait, can I just... There's an idea, dipshit. Just attack Look the up. thing. The ooze. Uh, ooze. Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs. Very stone. Have you read my paper? I read it, I. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well... A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Yes. Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe... What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. We know who you are, and you shall be judged. Witch! That was Deborah. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart. Oh, it's one of these. I was wondering what was glowing. Gibbs, I thank you for your note. God himself knows times are hard. That you could not honor our last order of grain was understandable. We find ourselves in a similar position and, upon the deaths of our last cattle, must cancel our next order. Please find and close the balance of our account, which we shall consider closed, at least until better times are come again. God save us all from this curse. And of all of them, just this one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. Was the Gibbs' house targeted by the Ood? Obviously. Look around you. Whoa! Hugging all the fun. Beauty. Put him to rest. Dude, I still need a waxy cap. Oh, snap. Waxy cap. Mrs. Gibbs, I presume. I feel like there's something here. Yeah, it's because I was right about that. I know. Oh, is this like a quick way back? Oh, it's a quick way back. Okay, well. Still no waxy caps. I mean, I could probably just open the menu anyway and look. See if it's ready. Yeah, one more waxy cap, bro. And usually it grows on caves. We just picked one up. You guys saw that, like in the house? It's a yellow mushroom. It's very obvious. It's not like it's a non-issue, you know, so. That's why I'm really on the hunt for it right now. Wow, this this area I know I miss it. Like falling off a log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Waxy cap! <laughs> Damn it. 
It didn't do as much as I hoped. Look to me. Fuck me, finally. Nah, I never played any arc. That's something people have suggested I play for a hot minute, but I just never, I never, just never done it. All right. Well, anyway, it all comes back around. I'm going back now, guys, so I can go ahead and upgrade my armor. The thing is, we haven't really been picking up any armor, but there hasn't been anything better. Like armor. No, even then, we haven't. I think this is like special edition armor. Like this is the armor you get when you actually have a special edition. You know what I mean? I mean, this is going to. Well, this is going to be peak. I wonder if I'm getting an achievement for this. It's a relic. Yes, you are. Upgrade an item at rank seven. Look at me go. All right. So melee attack damage is increased by five, but it's pretty basic, really. Red's clothes versus the wanderer gear. There, it's maxed out. That's as high as it can get. But it's still not as good as you'd imagine, honestly. It's, I mean, the perk is kind of beta, but at the same time, that's probably why it's so easy to upgrade it to a level 7. It's all about that waxy cap. Oh, snap. Waxy cap. Got that waxy cap. No cap. No, no, there is cap. We have the waxy cap. What do they want? Nice hat. I mean, I'm sure there will be more. I just I think the armor is probably one of the better items to have. Manifesting. In here. Shite. Okay, so there's an actual. I can't help you. Perhaps the rewards here to come to the cars. Well, now I'm honored. Beware. Wards. Another ward. Looks in time. I am warded. I cannot. Still. Better. All right, she's. She's good now. now. Inspect the body. Wasn't I always? She's dead. Oh god, she's not dead. Oh shit. That part is so annoying, like, you have to be, like, you have to basically trigger him to not do that. That's really annoying. That should have been an easy dub, but... Fucking asshole. Man, it's fucking loud all of a sudden. Holy shit. Whoa! I'm right here, you know. Is 
It's actually doing better damage. She's doing really good damage. was weird. Someone didn't want to stay dead. Damn. Finally got it. We leveled up as well. What's up, Judd? How's it going? Hasko and his town flock are here, fled from their homes. We have room for all in the harrows. There's mold on the wall near the front door. I shall scrape it off. Ew. The mold has turned sickly black and oozes between the boards. The crops, such as they were, have failed. The governor and his band of weak-hearted souls have brought the curse with them. May the Lord deliver us. The black stuff is everywhere. Folks sicken, hard of breathing, and bleeding from every orifice you'd care to mention, and some you would not. The devil spits, and we, we are flooded with it. I am minded, minded of seven years ago when plague last hit. I pray to God to grant me Clemency Gibbs and my loyal and moderately capable husband Antipas the wisdom to once again out the witch. Uh, God will not help us because our governor uses magic. His boy, what's his name, the idiot, he put a pagan totem by the house. I tore it down. Antipas said he saw Haskell throw something into the well, and then the earth shook. What are Haskell's up to? Wait a minute, do you think Dad's covering something up Clemency too? Clemency Gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch. Come from New Eden time with the governor. That's not what Deborah was saying. The Gibbs are not at home to rational explanations. I mean, I could go that way. Can't work this one out. That one won't let me go. What's up, Liam? See anything? <sighs> Either the water table is full of ooze, or there's another source. Let's search upstream. Oh, I just had to wait. I'll bet you anything I have to go to the other one, but I had to go to this one first. Maybe not. But it won't let me in here. Can I do this? Oh, wait. What's going on? I'll oh, just break it, dumbass. I never thought to do that, honestly. Show them why they should fear vanishing. You prick. Oh my god, Dan, fucking get good. Finally. What is that, I wonder? I wonder if we're actually going there. Over there. Oh, elusive little buggers.
Oh, that fucked him right up. I saw this from a distance and I was like, what is this? Oh, is this one of our... No, he's touching it, so I must... Or is she absorbing it? I don't know. It's an upgrade for me, though. Like 10% more or something like that, or something's increased by 10, whatever it is. Suddenly feel invigorated. Yeah, 10 health. So when he gets it, he's health. And when she gets it, told you. she gets the essence. So that's the first one of those that I've seen. One that he's interacted with. You. Don't step in that. I mean it. Red. What? What are we looking? Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Copy. Those echoes were here in the shadows. They always appear near the ooze. So the whispers. But which came first? The whispers of the ooze. The age-old question. <laughs> This just brings me back down. So the ward. Something has me. Wards. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. I can manifest now. I thought I thought there'd be something here. I mean, it looks like there's a question mark. Find the source of the ooze. I mean, that one's yellow. Like see on the top in my meter, it's like saying there's a question mark off to the right. But it's I don't know. Keeps changing it. Oh, duh, dumbass. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, the whole point was to get through there, and she's like, don't step in it. The whispers say the same things over and over. What kind of entity would be so obsessed? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. This looks like a place to fight. No? Watch out! Spec Incoming. I don't even know what this ding dong's saying. Guilty. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I see that. I'm just going over here for a second. 
Why can't I hop this? They probably don't want me, want me to proceed until I look at this, so let's just look at this. This looks perfectly drinkable. Excuse me. Famous last words. Why hasn't the poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes, like the void. Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. Like falling off a log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down. Apparently, gonna repeat it as well. Girl, you gotta think of another one to roast your your husband with. Remember the wicked will I felt earlier. The same spell is upon this. Yeah, it's still locked, so there's something that ritual seeker told us about. I've kept the notes about the hut location. I don't think I want to go this way. It looks like it's the long way down. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe not actually. That's all that was up here. It's just that we don't have that ritual to cleanse it. Hey, Christian. Yeah, no, I did. Heard about it this morning. Comes out March 15th, I think. 14th, something like that. I'll be checking it out. I'll add it to the list when I get a second. It's funny because I know I've this recently played them both, but is rotten to the core. And you're just now reaching this conclusion. There's a sidey over here. If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. Perhaps if you gave me the space to have one, then we'd both be better off. Damn. Someone came through here, someone real, not just a shadow. Who might that be? Whoever it was, looks like the ooze got. What do you think, Antea? You wanted the space to have your own opinion. I'm giving it to you. Damn. It's very female of you. <laughs> this must be Antipas Gibbs. Hell of a fall to lose. Anytime I hear Antipas, I think Antipas. Join in any time, Antea. What do you think I'm doing? She can actually move pretty freely on this thing. This is God's land. How could we let a witch come to our community? Instructing our children know it. Tis no surprise. New Eden brims over with backsliders. The governor, chief amongst them. Aye. Many had to sicken and die for him to act. But the deed is not yet done. We must fight the Lord's good fight and cast the devil out for good. Many want to try the witch, it's aye. And many want to see her dead. Get back up! <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, that was a fail. I have another insight. Anti pass to Gibbs. We miss a few. I don't I want to be over here. Finally. 
He was a little bit easier those to beat. Came from the ooze. They're like those oriental shapeshifters we fought in Bremen. Or back in Liquify. The Gibbs were so angry. Pure entitled bigotry. Maybe they were affected by the ooze. From curiosity. Yeah, we're in the Harrows, right? Yeah. I think there's only four locations. So one, two, three. So four there. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve of them. That's quite a lot, honestly. I mean, we've been snapping at each other since we got here. Something's toying with us. I yeah, I was gonna say. The ooze. I don't think the ooze made them. This is it. This is the source. How do we get to it? with a damp and itchy straw bed. Just how I like it. Can she sit with us? Yeah, I, th I wasn't sure if there was a ward or something. Oh, we got an evolution. I forgot about that. He only has one. She's exclusively... So I have to pick one of these. And before I can get to any of these ones, I have to like, yes, yeah, that's what I mean. Before I can get to some of Red's like moves, weak spot hits with a rifle, restore 15 spirit points, damage dealt by Red. No, I don't like those trade offs. I'll go with Bullseye. I told you guys that already. Oh, I thought this was one of those wards, but it's not. Something tells me this is the condemned well. Do you think you could get that bucket down? The bucket is tainted. I can't walk this the way. The bucket is tainted. Oh, where's the bucket? Where? Oh. from the past drifts by. Examine the bucket. I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. The devil still breathes through her mouth. We are cursed, and you are stalling. Clemency, Antipas, please. The woman has been jailed. As per custom, she will face trial, and justice will be brought to this community. Coming from a magic user himself. But can you or your demonologist discernment really be trusted? How dare you insinuate such blasphemy? I'm a man of faith. What God commands of you. Governor, we ask for safety. If we do not get it, there will be consequences. Iorum and Thumum. Set of Iorum and Thumum? Thumum? Thummin. I don't know. Tools of divination and claromancy brought thought to reveal the will of God. The governor used Urim and Thummim, and that made his flock suspicious. Divination stones. He must have thrown them down the well when he sealed it. Why now? Because he's a bitch. Hiding the evidence, perhaps, of his role in the witch trial. They connected him to the demonology he used to reinforce his authority. That echo proves that things were getting out of hand. For his son's safety and his own, Haskell must have feared the suspicious mark. 
that they did. Boss fight, final boss fight, probably. Okay, I'm getting annoyed at this person. It sounds, honestly, the voice has like female undertones. Oh, this can't be good. I mean, you surprised? This is a battleground. Plain and simple. Well, this is interesting. Bad timing. I am no witch hunter. Never was. I... I gotta banish myself? How does that work? Now it's her turn. So I gotta only fit. I gotta switch to her and Taya and fight with her. this I hate the very thing I've become Get back to its shadow. This thing is mine. Damn you. You'll get it next time.
That should take out what's his nips. <laughs> Who's going to be the final form? Like we fought the two of us already. We use rituals to help the living, not curse them. Magic oh, simultaneously. Why? I tried to attack and it didn't work. See that? She got her health back for no reason. Well, that is really unfair, honestly. Because I, it, like, it healed her. This is going to vex me. Oh my god, dude. Get my ass kicked here. I'm gonna die. I only have one more. This isn't gonna end well for me. Your strikes do nothing. Bloody shadow. No, don't heal! Oh my god, it's over and over guys. It just doesn't stop. I'm gonna have to redo this fight. I have to shoot the thing, but it's not working. I'll take care it like has full me. health. This is starting to get annoying. Looks I'm doing something wrong because they keep healing up. I'm out of health. I'm gonna end up dying. Annoying my- yeah. That's so annoying. The thing is, I'd get them down to ha like their low health, but then the little fucking orb or whatever, the little goopy thing, I tried to kill it and it wouldn't. It's like immune or I have to use a specific means. You're honestly gonna make me do the whole fight again? Are you fucking serious? Oh my God. Man, fuck you. I don't, oh God, that's garbage. I only seek the truth. Cunt. Yeah, I swear I shot it with him, with Red. to watch this? Wow. Dude, I don't care.
Ghosts are dangerous, and I've no reason to show mercy. I'll take care of this thing. You won't do that again. This is going to vex me. This thing is mine. <gasps> Stop! I can sure as hell try. I mean, I gotta listen to this clown again. I think it's dumb that there's a few can't skip this bit. I should have been beaten already. Finally, it worked. So it's possible I was actually trying to take it out. Maybe I thought I switched to him, but I think I was playing as Entea, which is why I got wrecked. It's annoying. Still an interesting situation, no? Oh Enough. man, now look at the new gar Please blessed get... garb, bro. Are you shitting me? It's not as good. Melee attack increased by... Oh. Oh, wait. No, that's just clothes. Sorry. It's got better spirit. Strength. It, honestly, here's the thing. It's already enhanced. It's... it's it, the thing is, my last one was better. Fully upgraded, this is going to be better. I have a feeling. Physical resistance. This is much better right now. Strength 23 dexterity. I'd rather have this one though. I mean, it looks cooler. Don't get me wrong. What's the difference here? Strength is up. Dexterity is dramatically up. By 20. Uh, wisdom drops though. Uh, vitality goes up by a lot with this one. 
I was wondering, honestly, what are the odds? I was literally like, should I upgrade it? I wish you could take the upgrades off and get some of them back, you know? Because this one's not as cool looking. I mean, when this thing gets upgraded, I want it. For sure. Melee attack and punch attack damage is increased by 10% for each manifestation cooldown. Unless this is one of those ones where we upgrade it with Nest Silt. Both of these require Nest Silts. Not much. So if I just get two Nest Silts, I'll be able to get this to here. Yeah, see, Nest Silt's the only thing I need. So I'll hold on to it. I eventually want to get Out that. Of here. Oh, I have the Leviathan Sigil as well, which is a ring. There's an amulet. Which one is it? Is it an amulet? Wristband. Here it is. It's the same level. Vitality goes up. Persistence goes down. Health goes up. Spirit goes down. But not much. It's way better. Look at the grades. Oh my goodness. The drops are... Oh, this is such a better one. Punch attack reduces next damage taken. And it's upgradable already. So we can get it up. That's an easy selection. That is true, Brad. <laughs> Nihad, what's up? See, there's a there's a side mission here. I just don't know where it is. I don't know if it's underneath or... Because we'll do it. I mean, the guys who always like first to cast blame to other people are usually the guilty party, no? Hey, Lily. That was awful. This trial. It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced. But all I feel is beaten. I feel powerless. I were always one move behind. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such specter of injustice has a name. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so... So it's not even real. It's just like a... Rare. Most think them a myth. Ignorance caused this. A raging I can't open the fucking map and it's getting on my minds. nerves. Unable to look within. They pointed the finger. And so a terrible ghost was born, and sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. Why can't I open up the... Oh, right, that's not the map button. Oops. One sec, let me go back in the cave. Just for a second, because now it's not on the map. Normally it puts everything on the map. Unless that was what it was, and it was just the waypoint was just confused. I just want to see. I was like, why isn't the map opening? Because the map button is like semicolon. I'm not kidding. On, on, to hit, open your map, you hit the semicolon button. Now it's not here. Maybe it was just bugging. Because see how it was in here before? Now it's not. It must be at that main mission location then. Yeah, it would be odd that it would be in the cave. Yeah, the map was just tripping. See how it's pink there too? Anyways. Man, I can't wait to change outfits. I, I can't believe I wasted my money on this. But the thing is, I, I, I didn't really have enough. What I needed to upgrade this was different than what that needs. I need more silts. All I need is silts for that. So if I just get a fuck ton of silts, I should be able to upgrade everything. You know, if I had like what five silts. Time to work, Banisher. I'll 
I'll do that side mission. Like I said, guys, we have 12 side missions to complete. Just quite a lot. The heart's yours. The roots are mine. Which makes it obvious that... Why does it tell me to go this way if I can't? Oh. All oh, right. Um Come on. Shit, where's the other one? Shit. No, no, stop. I missed it. Oh, I hate that it does it automatically, which is weird to me. No, I don't much fancy my own garden. Trust me, you don't want a garden. That down there was. Uh, I was tense. I was impatient. The infamy's doing. Not yours. Pat. Doesn't change the feelings. I never thought I could feel such anger again. They were Deborah's feelings, not yours. Deborah. How refreshing it is to the soul to be at once. One thing above all else, my friends, is true. The wicked are at odds with themselves. That's really interesting, bro. The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell. While piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet in his name they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. <laughs> the sarcastic clap. Mr. McCraith. My friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now the wicked man never questions... I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately. If you'll nah, let's not. Moment. It's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people here. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the banisher speak. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Ah, there's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And... Maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? Now, I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her. And it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? Depends how you look at it. It tells the story of a man, a latter-day King Solomon. When plague struck his subjects, they turned to him for guidance and protection. For they were God-fearing folk, and he was a godly king. 
The king's captain walled the sick away, but the plague spread on. The people grumbled. The king thought he might fall. He needed a sacrificial lamb. You lose the run of your tongue, Mr. McCraith, and of the head to which it's fixed. There was no lamb. There was a trial, fair and lawful. The trial was not fair. You had no proof, and you knew it. Credible witnesses gave believable testimony, sir. Witnesses like Gibbs, who pressured you into a guilty verdict to avoid being suspected of witchcraft yourself. There was pressure, I'll not deny it. But I did what I did to protect the colony. It was a difficult time. The picture of yourself that you hold in your mind is that of a great occultist. To repel the devil, the wise and fearless man must learn the black spy's tricks. Do you then consider yourself a true demonologist? In order that a war be just, three things are necessary. Firstly, the authority of the sovereign. Secondly, a just cause. Thirdly, a rightful intention. Aye, the Summa Theologiae of St. Thomas Aquinas, a classic quote from which you have conveniently omitted an important detail. To wit, a just cause is required, namely that those who are attacked should be attacked because they deserve it on account of some fault. Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the veil, past the hem, beyond the invisible? Have you ever heard of the Aralu? What gibberish is this? No. Your good friend Etienne Roulet did not, it seems, they knew worthy of his secrets. <laughs> yeah, never mind. You're a pompous coward. Fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. A man to make the judgment, and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. What do you really want, Governor? I wish only to serve. I am the trusted servant of the good people of New Eden. Without me, they're lost. Without them, you would be lost. Yes. Maybe I do need them. A very human of me. But these people undoubtedly need me, Mr. McCraith. And there is no one else. Admit it. You toy with magic. You don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract. I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you. Aha! Poison it was, then. The weapon of the wicked, to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna? Hemlock? Foxglove? Betrayal! Truth unspoken, secrets and lies, wrongs, basically, your wrongs. The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius, the wrongs that led to her death. She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. Twas not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. He's such an ass, but... That's the thing. Like, this is one of those ones that's easier to choose. But I gotta... I have to ascend him. So, unfortunately, as much as this would be one I wouldn't feel as bad about. But... You will spare the current community pillar and leave... See, it's not as good. 
I have to commit contribute. So he's got to stay in power. It's not as honestly. That's what I mean. No matter which one you choose on either side, there are options when you run into ones where like this doesn't seem right and this doesn't seem right or this does seem right. Or this does. You know what I mean? But we'll have to contribute to our ascent. So we have to do this. It's the only way out of it. Say your flock forced your hand. For the greater good, you say you indulge their bloodlust. I believe you did it. I don't believe your motive. You delighted in your magical witch hunt, your trivial rituals. You thought you'd be lauded for your humility and skill. But you have neither. Now all around you crumble. Yet still, you state your claim as the rightful protector of the people of New Eden. I have found the culprit, the devil worshipper, the source of the evil that has befallen your community. Sorry, son. My son, a witch! You mock us, sir! Present proof or retract your ridiculous accusation! Now you need proof. For years, Lamy studied your precious library of the Forbidden. But he outdid his father. He learned. It was Lamy who taught Caleb Watson the dark ritual that brought his beloved wife back from the dead. I was trying to help. I did nothing wrong. No! Lord of mercy! For shame. Oh, Boy, it was always strange. No. No, Lammy is a good boy. I won't have it. Easy, Governor. Your son's intentions were sound. And his mistakes, grave as they were, did not poison the well. Forgive me for swearing in the meeting house, but this is a blooming farce. Have I ever failed you? In evil times, have we not endured? Have I not protected you? Fooled by his own flesh, how could he be so blind? She keeps popping up, hey? Have faith. The Banisher has lifted the curse. Brighter days are here. I knew you were trouble. You and your lady. Look what you've done. Don't push your luck, Haskell. I've given you a shot at redemption. It's more than you gave Deborah. Damn you, Punisher! Paid in consideration of a curse lifted. All rights defended now and hereafter. I look forward to never seeing you again. Don't count on it. The work's not done. At least we got paid. <laughs> I mean, he needed to be exposed. I think it's better this way, honestly. He might remain in power, but people are going to be, like, questioning him anyway. After all this, don't forget to Choose rest. the destiny of Fairfax Haskell. Oh, I still have to rest at the shelter. I mean, again, there's more side missions. So, depending how the next mission starts, um, we'll... Uh, We'll, uh, you know, do our thing. We'll do some sideies as well. Oh, we unlocked the fusion tab. I didn't. Uh, that makes sense that there's another one here. We can't do anything with it anyway. So, what now? 
What did Ceridian say when we first met her? Once we'd weakened the Nightmare's influence, we could use the Void to enter its lair. Deborah's grip on the settlers has diminished. We'll return to Ceridian's island. From there, the Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman, bright, sensitive, kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue. And for what? They won't even say her name. Why? Why her? You said it yourself. Deborah was a victim of their fear. That's not enough. Her murder was another throw of a dice. Why is it always us who have to pay with our lives? Aye. He did. And I regret my failure to my dying day and after it too. I was not speaking of our situation. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. Though I had the wrong tongue, the wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother and experience curandera and listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. Anything could have befallen me, but it didn't. This has been hard for you. For me too. Perhaps we should think of how far we've come together and take heart. I am dead, Rory. I am dead and sooner we'll be gone for good. You think I don't know this? So act like it. I'm not the enemy here. Look, all this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered or what we have achieved or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. Good night. What's up, Adam? Hey, Darren, how's it going? So, guys, a lot of there's a lot of dialogue in this game, so these get caught up. Mantea. Was she gone? I would have gone with you. Not funny. I have to walk to the stupid bloody island.
Okay. Love finds a way. What did this one start? Okay. Um, find Entea. Where are we now? Oh, did they fast travel us away? That's annoying. Oops. I'm trying to do some side missions. It's just like, I can't do it. I can't, I can't go anywhere without finding Entea, so. There you are. Ready to go. I just got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You were not alone. Can we go now? I guess. You think I understand being like human beings and what have you? How come it's not working? Let's ask Seeker. This but all has you guys don't have that much time left together, so enjoy it as much as you can. Aye. You're so open. No. There's a spectral web here, but it's new. It's stronger, but I think I can do it. What's up, Greg? Honestly, I think it is, but I would wait till it gets a little bit cheaper. Right now, they've got it as like AAA price tag. I think it's maybe 10, 20 bucks off and then go for it. Yeah. It's actually a really cool game. A lot of fun. See? Ah. Well, throwing my weapons through your will is a little unsettling. That could be risky. The spell isn't working. I think she's gone. To Red's weapons. It's also so now. Oh, that's specific webs. Oh, the webbies. The so these things. Is hidden away here. We couldn't Stains do. Bar the path. Hide now. I'll just do it just for the sake of clearing it. Onwards. Seeker. Grace, dear child, though I pray this letter finds you healthy and well, I confess that even should you give me your assur assurances on the count, uh, I may well doubt them. I'm no fool, my girl. I know something is amiss with you, and I know your father's concerned. Far though it be for me to interfere in your familial relations, it is important for a young woman about to make her way in the world to have help beyond the confines of her family. In close with this letter, you shall find a key and a map. You will find the place. I have marked it clear. Do not forget you are not alone. I am on your side. You can also mount... Or count on Catherine Newsmith. She's a trusted friend who would, if asked, help you organize your departure. In faith and service, your teacher, Mistress Deborah. Why is there a letter from Deborah Comenius here? And who's Grace? No way back to New Eden Town, and no seeker either. Our only clue points to Kate Newsmith. Maybe she knows this Grace and where to find her. See your drawings of different plants in detail and scientific way. She draws well. Well, can we draw this to a close? We need to talk to Kate. How can she find anything in this mess? We're wasting time. Let's go. All right. Ask Kate Newsmith about Deborah. So, that's our current mission. There's a new fusion gauge. Shall we dance then? Wait, control. Oh, you gotta hit switch to her. I'm confused. Oh, there. It wasn't working before. Oh, and that's. Oh, so yeah, it lets you use. I see. I mean, I knew that, but... Oh my god, this fucking prick. 
Can I join in too? These alphas are crazy tough to kill. He's down now, though. But now she has her own ability, which is nice. Huge fucking damage. So it basically does kind of Chase That's a sweet move. I'd stay to figure it out, but we need to see Kate. Can we just fast travel there? It just seems kind of odd to me that. Damn it. Yeah, see, they want us to go all the way over here. This one's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Where am I right now? Because, yeah, we need to fast travel. This is just going to take too long. So I'm going to dip out and do some side missions then. What do we need for this? Scourge accretion, it uses one. Why not? The rest are gonna use nest silk. Still, silt, nest silt, silt, excuse me. Okay, so I gotta pick a location. Where do I wanna fast travel? Or what's my next, what case do I wanna do? There's actually a lot up here. Spared by the banishers, but his undoing complete. Mr. Fairfax Haskell must live with his sins. Their governor rode the pendulum from pinnacle to pit. The shaken faithful must turn once again to the Lord. This new quest for purity may end like the last, in injustice and misery. Can they be stopped before it's too late? Oh yeah, I know. They've been popping for a while now. But most of the times when I run into a side mission that I see, I do it. But there's a point now where we're at the game where it's like we have to do some sides. I don't think I'll have enough time to literally, I think based on how long that last mission took. A ghost damaged the sign. I mean, some of these ones might be quick, but I don't know. Problem, madam? I doubt it. Sir, I'm sorry, but we're closed. As you can see, we're facing some problems right now. You, Mr. Banisher, might just be the man for the situation. <laughs> My reputation precedes me. Red McCraith, you be Mrs. Ingersoll. They call me Widow Ingersoll, as it happens. Yes, I accept your condolences. In return, accept mine. Gladly. So, to business. Yes. Business. I require the services of a capable man. I've been burglarized, vandalized, and I'm left alone. I need help. You say your store's been robbed? More than once. A thief has been stealing merchandise. And now Nathaniel has stolen the cash box and fled. You also have a haunting. That's a lot. Widow Ingersoll, I'm no constable, but in your case, I could make an exception and look into it. You could? Well, thank you. 
I really do need that cash box back. It's not much, but it's all I have. My damned keys are in it too. Did Nathaniel steal your merchandise, or was that someone else? I believe there were two thieves, yes. Could Nathaniel be responsible for both crimes? No. He's smart. He'd not carry 20 pounds of provisions back to Boston when he could fill his purse with coin. If I were to find out that ghost is giving you trouble, would you know who it could be? A ghost? Why would you ask me about a ghost? Hire a Thatcher and they'll ask you about your roof. You've hired a banisher. Well, no. If I am haunted, it could only be my dead husband. Old man Ingersoll lives in my heart, but I promise you, he does not haunt me. Who's this Nathaniel who stole your money? Nathaniel Sather. Our shop boy. Salesman, really. He was Mr. Ingersoll's barker. Natty's been with the store a very long time. Or had been. Where might he have gone? And why might he have taken the cash box? We had words. He wished to try for Boston. I need him here. A promise is a promise. Now he's a promise breaker and a thief to boot, who took the keys I kept as a memento of my late husband. I'll need to nose around your store. Your house, too. Do I have your permission? You do. I won't be far. I'll get to work. So, well. if I have 12 I'll more uh, m side missions to do, I'm going to focus on doing six of them. You know what I mean? And then once we do six, we'll see what time it is in the stream. And then we'll do the six and then maybe finish up the other mission. So, we're probably going to have to do four parts, not three. I thought I might be able to beat it today, but I just don't see it. I don't see how we can. Considering that first mission took us like an hour and a half. Can I snoop around? That's the only awful. downside about doing that is I don't have that much time. Like there's games coming out like crazy. So it's like I've got to do one of these. It's tough to get all the time down. This account book isn't too healthy. Mind your business, Mr. McCraith. But you never know. Some of these missions could just be quick pop ones. Like, some of them are true hauntings. Like, you know, that involve a lot more. Anyone home? I'm Red McCraith, the Banisher. Show yourself. I think we're alone. My dear Thomas. At Ingersoll's, I have learned how to run a store, how to keep customers, how to make money. Mr. Ingersoll was pure soul, and I remember my mentor fondly. But I've been away too long. I miss Boston. I miss you. Life here is hard and cold. Moreover, Mrs. Ingersoll can no longer pay me, and I fear I shall be stuck here forever. If you only, if only you knew how much I miss you. I'll write you soon. Take care, Nathaniel. Bathsheba Ingersoll said Nathaniel Sather wanted to go back to Boston. But really, what did they get back to his friend Thomas? We found all we could. Might be time to go after our thief. Nathaniel stole a cart. Maybe you could follow his tracks. Great! Right. Not Over a bad here. idea, Mrs. Ingersoll. Do you think perhaps the late Mr. Ingersoll may haunt his old store? To punish Nathaniel who broke his promise? Perhaps. I doubt it. I don't even see his tracks. Usually you have to mark the tracks. But maybe they just want you to walk through them. I don't actually see any tracks, which is annoying. Like, I see them, but then it... Did they turn off? I don't actually see them. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going off of. Oh yeah, it just keeps updating them. I see. Yeah, if you look at the map, it, it like goes through and then. must have had motivation to flee in snow like this. Oh, the cart tracks. I'm sorry. 
I was following the footprints. Footprints were harder to see. Well, that might have been both. I mean, main quests we have done... Fuck, I don't even know. What, what are we on here? Uh, we've done 13. And there's 16 mains. I'm not exactly sure how many side missions the we've done, though. Veer to the right. What's up, by the way, Swift? Sorry, I just realized who was asking the question. Study mongrel. I have another insight. Yeah, we good. Watch out. Spectre possession. Quick, 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 quick. Almost at level 18 as well. Man, Nathaniel is wandering. Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy it. The missing cart. Abandoned. The wheel is stuck. You know I'll not wish to bother you, mistress. But when do you think you'll pay me my wages? I'll pay you when I can, Nathaniel. You know this. I've She's been broke. saying that for months now, and I'm struggling to believe it. He's in the contract that I be paid. Pay me by tomorrow, or I must act. You must act. Do you hear yourself? Go clean the back room and hush with your nonsense. Oh, that's it. That's blooming well it. Take what is mine, I'll take it. I'm guessing this is Bathsheba's cash box. Nathaniel robbed the widow. He was desperate. She gave I mean, him no choice. I mean, I I don't doubt that for a second. There's two. Where's the, I like to find all three. I mean, I see the branches, but I don't see this one. Or is that the one there? One, two. Like, there's three of them. This one goes here. So, where's this one at? It looks like we don't have a shot, so we might have to go up. You know what I mean? See, I think it's up here, so... Yeah, see, that's a tough to get. So does it want us to, like, can we, like, is there any way to quickly do that? Or are we just gonna have to be on the clock? I think it's one of those ones where you throw it from up here, shoot them, both, you aim for and the then cross to the other one. Destroy the roots. So one, two... Hurry, 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 hurry. I feel like I missed one. I think one didn't actually get destroyed properly. What happened? That's really annoying. I shot the fucking... Fuck you, bitch. Unless there's four. Yeah, why didn't it work? You guys saw that I shot it. That's very weird. Oh, just how I like it. 
No, Blue, I think you want Tomb Raider. Not everyone wants Tomb Raider. Besides, I literally played it yesterday, and you could tell how fucking irritated I was with the game. So I don't think it's really fair to force me to do something or expect me to play something that's making me annoyed and frustrated. I literally said I need a break from Tomb Raider. At least the game, at least the the like the controls and the camera are such such like shit in this remaster. Like they did not work on them. The modern controls like fuck it up completely. Officers really have no idea how many miles a banisher runs to solve a case. It's not exactly fair I to say that. I once met Nero Fox, the infamous banisher who solved all his cases from the comfort of his armchair. I should have become his apprentice. The thing is, his apprentice was the one that went into the field for him. Man, Nathaniel went far. A trail of blood. I don't like that. The tracks continue this way. Nathaniel was injured. Looks that way. Pretty Looks badly, blood, too. Torn clothing and all. Is he dead? The tracks lead into this cave. Must have been really desperate. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. Yeah, the wolves got him. Eaten alive. Hope it was quick. The wolf took a purse. Bathsheba Ingersoll's, perhaps. Why don't you just lay it the smack it down right now? Nathaniel shall never again see Boston. But Bathsheba Ingersoll may get her money back. So these ones aren't necessarily about a haunting. So some missions aren't about hauntings necessarily. Got it. Oh, wait a minute, there's keys. Here's the belt. 
the purse is with it. Keys. Where do Ingo souls, I don't doubt. I've seen this symbol in the mines below Fort Jericho. Why would she have keys to the mines? Mmm, mines. You want to take a look, don't you? Ugh. Nathaniel. Poor lad. I kind of want to see. Follow my voice. That sucked. Keep missing him. So I wonder where those keys would have gone to. I mean, it's one of those things where you have to just adventure. It's probably not major crucial, but... Oh, there's a fast travel spot. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Nathaniel Saffer, I presume? The salesman at Ingersoll's store? Indeed. Well, former salesman, obviously. Killed on his journey to Boston. Yes, we found your body. Sorry about that. I'm Antea Duarte, and here is Red McGraith. We're banishers, and we've been searching for you. Banishers? Wonderful. You can oh, help me. I am defenseless, unarmored, vulnerable. It's not something I enjoy. You need our help, you say? Indeed I do. I wish you to pass a message to Widow Ingersoll. Pay your debts, Bathsheba Ingersoll. I think she got the message already. She owes me my wages. Her husband left money, and she has not spent it. It is close to her heart. She'll not part with it. That's why you stole the cash box. Uh, I've got some bad news, Nathaniel. You're dead. You can't spend the money. No, but Thomas can. She can send it to Boston. She knows about him. She knows about my best friend in the whole wide world. We found your purse. With the money, there were keys. Bathsheba's? Bathsheba's. She guarded the keys closely. She'd take them with her when she went out. Do you know where she was going? Not far. She was never gone more than an hour. Not far from the fort. Somewhere locked up, if the keys are any kind of clue. If I had something to hide not far from the fort, I'd hide it in the mines. Keepsakes of her husband, she said. A lie. Before we came to Fort Jericho, I'd never seen those keys in my life. I'll ask you some questions, if you don't mind. A good boss, is she? The widow Ingersoll? Once she was as good as her husband. Now, not so much. What happened? Old man Ingersoll was the kindest of men. And God rewarded him with a talent for commerce. He taught me all he knew, and more than that, became the father I'd never had. But he took sick and died. Bathsheba began to live for her shop alone. Nothing matters to her anymore. That's annoying. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about your past. Where are you from? I'm Boston, born and raised. I thought I'd die there, too. Alas, it was not to be. I miss the city life. The music. The color and the splendor. The dance of commerce. The flower sellers forget-me-nots. Oh, the forget-me-nots. Do you have family? I have Thomas. Bathsheba knows about him. About us. I know she read our letters. We're not here to judge you, Mr. Sather, or who you love. I'm in a bind now. I can get the money, and the money is mine, but I cannot use it. Bathsheba Ingersoll must send the money to Thomas in Boston. 
Okay, that's all we got for him. We'll take our leave. I don't know what this key opens. I do know Widow Wingersall wants it even more than she wants her money. And if you find out why, she'll be very upset. So we actually do get to go down the mines. Is there a where's the nearby? Where is it? Is Sapper right? Did the widow Winger so lie to her? One of them isn't telling the truth. We should explore the mines. It's only if the fast travel makes sense. the fort anyway just in case guess we'll just run it out because there's no f I mean there's that's a fast way up isn't it I mean I'd rather fast travel instead of walk all the way there and then we have another place to go to How do I get up there? Ah. Shelter. If you need a fire to warm you up. What's up, Alex? Not a lot, man. How are you? Oh, I missed some stuff in the pot over there. It's okay. Oh, wait. I forgot you ignite it first. So I can go get it. Bit of cash money in my pocket. Can we upgrade anything? No. Oh, I hate that. So, the way you maneuver, normally what you would do is you'd click and drag a map, right? In P on PC, and this, it's not. You actually, it's just, you can tell this game was made for console. Because you have to use your maneuver keys. Oh, I, shit. I don't need another translate. I'm sorry, it's habit. Is this the way to the mines? What have you done with the Oh, I forgot. This is the way I came in the back. There was a back door. I love like I, like I had that altercation with this guy. I walk in his house and just completely ignore him. <laughs> Wait, why would it do, tell me to do this when I could just fast travel to like one of the mine spots? It's kind of annoying. No, I've never I've never streamed on kick at all. Just, I have like zero audience there. I don't know if anybody would come over. Oh, 
away with you. Uh, my Discord server is linked in the description already, Alex. Spectre heading for that court. All that kind of information will always be in the description. Run, Red. Watch out. Spectre possession. Are you telling me to run? I'm just gonna fight them. Don't be stupid. No. Let's find the symbol. I haven't been here in a while. It's gonna be kind of annoying. Oh no, you're good, man. The uh, the description tends to get forgotten about sometimes. It's like right there, but no one thinks to look like click it. You know what I mean? I mean, it's it's like one of those things that's hidden in plain sight. You just get so used to certain areas of the stream, you know. This is one of those things you gotta keep in the back of your head. Okay, so I see that, but... What am I looking for right now? Oh, wait a minute, I see... I see, so the... Nathaniel was right about the keys. Now why would Bathsheba come here? Sugar, oil, and spoons. All stolen from Ingus. That is true, people do. I honestly According don't know how that one up, happens. One thief stole the money and the keys and the merchandise. And hid the stuff here. And that thief was the widow Ingersoll herself. Why would she steal her own merchandise? She wanted Nathaniel to stay to save the store. Yeah, because even if you encounter the stream like randomly and it's a preview, because some I don't know if you guys have seen it, but if you're scrolling through YouTube, sometimes it'll recommend a video and it'll just autoplay it if you scroll through and it won't necessarily show the title, it'll just fill the screen. But if you tap the screen, if you're watching horizontally and you tap the screen, the title is right there. But for some reason, there's a lot of people who don't think to look at the title of the video to find out what, ga what game is being played. It's actually quite remarkable. It's just like... It's like, what am I supposed to do? I've done everything in my power to make this easy for everybody. This one's proper, hey? Spectral target for you. Standing by. Oh, 
Honestly, bro, even if I did put the title on top of my head, people would still fucking ask me. I've been on YouTube long enough to know that there's just... I mean, at what point do we just see me, idiocy? Like, can we just say the word idiocy? It. Like, at what point do people I'll realize they're ask. idiots? <laughs> you a good lady wife to run and we're store. supposed to tiptoe around it and be like, man, I'm are we encouraging this? Let's teach them. I Let's teach them. It. That's not very nice, Dan. It's like, but what, what, at what point is it my fault? Is it not their fault? You know what I mean? Everything's everyone else's fault. You know? Anyway, I and Nathaniel say that on this third day of September in the year 1691 of Boston in the province of Massachusetts Bay, hereby swear that I shall keep my post as shop boy at Ingersoll's General Store, now located in Boston, for whichever period of time my employer, Master Weldon Ingersoll, requires, or in his absence to the requirement of Mistress B B Bathsheba Ing Ingersoll that the store may endure. Sign witness and register in Boston September 30th. That's a, that's a pretty binding contract for Mr. a job. Ingersoll, late husband of Abdiel Wadu. Nathaniel seemed loyal to the Ingersolls. I wonder what he broke his promise. We should ask the widow. Is this for... I wonder which one... Yeah, this is the keys. Store ledgers. The ledger for Ingersoll's store. Same dates, but with much higher figures. Two different ledgers. One of which was locked inside a chest. Widow Ingersoll didn't want Nathaniel to see the accounts. She was lying to him about the finances. So they were doing better than. Why would Bathsheba lie about the finances? To keep the store, to keep Nathaniel, they're all she has. She doesn't want to be alone. So he keeps telling me to go. Okay, I'll just go this way. Looks like it's telling me to go up. Yeah, to avoid taxes. That's probably the only reason. It's like, hey, I'm... That is the most logical reasoning for hiding how well your business is doing. Just so you don't have to pay high taxes. Because usually if you take a loss, they'll actually give you a return, right? Depending. So funny. Tax man. And she's like, nah, man, the tax bills are insane. You know what it's like to have a business in this day and age? <laughs> so, Banishes, what did you find? Mr. Setha. You have a right to know. Amongst other things hidden in the mines, we found your contract with Mr. Ingersoll. I signed that on the day old man Ingersoll died. Tears stained the page. I promised to look after the shop, to look after Bathsheba. On my oath, I bound myself to the store. But the bonds chafed. So I took what was mine and ran. We also found an account book. A double of the one Bathsheba showed you, only healthier. Bathsheba has money. Bathsheba lies. The money is rightfully mine. Maybe it's time to go back to the store and confront Widow Ingersoll. She has, she must Will have a reason. Leave. Thank you for your help. I mean, but at the same, it's the same time. It's not she. She made an agreement, just like he signed a contract. She hasn't. There's. She is obligated to pay him. I feel like if she doesn't uphold her end of the bargain, Nathaniel doesn't have to uphold his. No, like you know what I mean. Like it doesn't. Unless it was like literally, they had him sign, bro. Regardless of what happens, you are bound to this bitch. You bound, bitch. You fucked up. We must talk, Mrs. Ingersoll. Sounds ominous. Some talk. I have bad news for you. I found Nathaniel's body. The wolves got him. Oh no. Poor, poor boy. What a terrible end. Did he, uh, have my keys with him? Ah, yes. The keys. The precious keys you so ardently wished to recover. 
The keys which opened first a door in the mines, then a chest sat behind that door. I found your real ledger and your so-called stolen goods. You lied to me, hoping I wouldn't go to the mines. Didn't they work? The box is mine, and so are its contents. What did you do with it? I want them back. Really, lady? We have what we need. Perhaps it's time to end this. Mrs. Ingersoll, I have someone I want you to meet. An old friend. He just emerges like a boss. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Ingersoll. All's well. You know Nathaniel Sather, of course. I'll confirm it. His it is greed, yeah. Store. I thought it'd be something he, else. He who left when I needed him and lingers when I very much don't. The money is mine by right. 100%. The money is Mr. Ingersoll's. You wanted it for your precious Thomas. My Thomas is alive. And old man Ingersoll is long dead. And you have never grieved him. You keep me here to keep the store. You keep the store to keep your husband. You keep your husband to keep your heart unbroken. I cannot. It would kill me to. I lied about the books. I stole the stock and hid it. So the business would continue. So you would stay. I know. But do you hear yourself? What the hell were you thinking? I think it's time to end this. I mean, she needs blaming, but but we can't be doing that. Let's ascend his ass. That's an easy choice. Nathaniel Sather, the Ingersoll store was their labor of love, and you sacrificed much to keep it going. Now, you haunt its owner. I did nothing wrong. She withheld my wages. She lied about the store's finances. I agree, she's wrong here. That's history now. Where you are, you can't use the money. You can't go back to Boston, Nathaniel. No, I can. I can move fast and far now. No limits. I can go. I can go to Thomas. You cannot go to, to Thomas. What end? So you can haunt him. Your heart may be bound to Thomas, but your ghost is bound to the store by your written promise to old man Ingersoll. You won't leave. You can't. Slowly you will decay. And slowly you will forget who you were. You'll forget who Thomas was. But that's... That's unfair. Life is unfair, Nathaniel. Death, too. If you can't claim fairness, at least claim peace. Go now. Free of your obligations. Forgive me, Thomas. For I failed you. Please, remember me as I remembered you. Go in peace. I mean, that is what's best for him, but I, I do firmly believe that his wages should still go to Thomas. If that is his rights, that is his... I don't think she should be able to be like, yeah, I'm not going to give it to him anymore. No, give, give him the damn money. Because I don't want to have to kill somebody just to do... Like, she doesn't deserve to die, but she has to pay up. You know? So, Nathaniel. What an awful thing to have to see. Oh, was it? What will I do now? And how will I do it? Give the money up. B. Anyway, it's done. So, there's only three more in this district. That's one. I might finish up this area at Mount Pleasant, you know, two, three, four. Like I said, so I've done one, right? So, um, I got to do five more in this stream if I can muster it. And then five more and then another mission. As you can see, that's uh, quite the quite the amount of time. You know what I mean? So, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. So when there's when there's six left, that's probably when we'll call it. Hopefully, we can get it all done. There's still a couple more in the uh, 
in this camp, actually. I think there's two more in the camp. So we'll go do this one right here. There is going to be a point of no return, and if I'm not mistaken, the point of no return is... Uh, the right before the last mission. Gate log. These people in and out. Safe returns. Flora Abbott. Hope she's not dead. You know she could be dead. <laughs> oh, I thought it said the farting shot. The parting shot. I mean, of course, that, that's that's what I thought it said. <clears throat> How far is it? Is it worth the walk? Oh, there's actually no campfire nearby. So I'll have to go this way. McCree, over here. I'll talk to you in a minute, Andrew. I am the Andy man. Knowing knowing my luck though, there's go well, actually, I don't want to say that. That's not a good phrase, but mo knowing the game, I'll most likely run into a campfire along the way here. They make it easy for you to come back. I am the Andy man. Okay, right, baby, bad. Wait, that's a campfire, but it doesn't count as a campfire. It's not, it, it's because it's along the trail. It's like too main. Like too, like, in the way. There's creatures that could spawn, so they don't count it as one. They don't count to such. <laughs> follow chat. Follow it and chill. Speaking of which, did you guys hear that they released a... Heart. You aim at its roots. They released a... They're, they're going to come out with an anthology of all the seven Fallout games. They call it the Special Edition. Can I hit this from here? Yeah. So there's... How many are there? There's... Oh, there's, is there only two? Yeah, there's only two branches. What the? Did it not work? Why is it doing that? Uh, where's the rest of it? Oh! Sorry. My bad. I, the one I was looking at was completely unrelated. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Think you could take on a goat? Leave you alone. Literally, I saved your bacon. I know you did, but... I know you did, but... Where's this bee? I can see. I should take over. Damn you. What? What did I do now? Why are you bitching to me? People have no... Die for the love of all that's holy. She's not alone. You want to fight? Oh, she's not talking to me. I'll give you a fight. So I have to dis... I have to dispel the fog first. Oh there! Who's there? Stay back or I'll gut you. We can't reach her through the fog. We must lift it. Hey, I'll Abdullah Trump. Me. What's up, Danny? Fog's up there. Let's keep it moving. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. 
Oh, I'm afraid the deflector shield will be quite operational when you better ride. Man, this is a faff and a half. All the way to the top just to dispel it and I'll have to fight a couple of dudes. What's up, Travis? Who wants the sauce? You know, fuck it, I don't have time for this. That's the sound it should make whenever you kill him. All right, talk to Flora, and let me guess, her husband, Fauna. <laughs> Excuse me. Of course you're gonna make me shimmy, you can't just jump it, it's just water. Flora? Eggs Florentine. Oh, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> I thought you were one of the monsters. Or worse. Maybe I am. She's had a terrible shock. I'm vegan. She has <laughs> heart, but her heart races. Go gentle. Sorry. Are you alright, miss? Miss? I'm Flora Abbott, and I never miss. Where's Castella? I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher, you might have heard. I hunt ghosts and spectres. Yes, I've heard. I hunt wolves and rabbits. They taste better. I'm all right now. You may go. You hurt? I'm just pissed. I need my gun back, but someone seems to strongly disagree. Aside from what happened in that fog, I escaped a rockfall near the old watchtower. The stupid ghost won't let go. What happened here? Did someone attack you? Yes. The hunter Theodore Shepard. His ghost, at least. I recognize his voice. Being dead hasn't stopped him from bullying me. Knows she's haunted, doesn't mind admitting it. Interesting. You lost your gun? No. After you put an end to Priest's mutiny, Shepard stole my musket and left the fort. The dog. Why would he steal your gun? Did he not have his own? He had his own. He wanted mine, so I wouldn't have it. I was a better shot than he. He'd been number one, then suddenly he wasn't. He took it as an insult. He took it personal. If Shepard comes back, you won't be able to defend yourself. You need a banisher. Oh, hell, fine. Try the old watchtower. I settled there after leaving the fort. It would seem that his not so very secret mountain gave was not for living in. There's a lodge nearby. I will wait for you there. Alright. Flora's gun, the fauna. Sorry, I'm gonna make that joke a lot, I'm sure. I apologize in advance. This isn't really Actually, you know what? No, I don't apologize. She's not at all. It. I stand by that. It smells familiar. It stinks of hate and prejudice. Well, we got a new uh, campfire, but it's actually this. Per see, see what I mean? I told you guys there's always a campfire because we have to sing some songs every time. Okay, where? Wait, where was the campfire? Oh, we missed it. Hold on. Let's stop. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, ha, hoo, hoo. I mean, I'm sure that it's up there, but I can't can't get to it unless I go all the way around. It's going to be one of those situations. Maybe it isn't. I don't really know. This is taking me the wrong direction, so I don't think this is the case. I mean, I know where it wants me to go. I have that feeling, but... Fuck it. We'll just stick to the strip script for now.
Theodore Shepard's happy little home. Do we get to keep this? You think it's better than what I got? Can I, she's like, oh, you can have it. It looks pretty litty. Oh. Oh, Teddy's here. I don't think it's as good as mine, but she's probably going to give it to me. It would have been good if I had done this earlier. Yeah, see, it's not as good as mine. Black belly. Oh, it's none of these. Get out of my... Whoa, hello. Can I join in too? I love how like the god the, the the bell hits and it just fucking slices them. Shut up, Teddy. Missed opportunity not calling him Fauna, though. Master Ted's secret little butchering place, eh? Huh? Seriously, I just feel like there's a... No, it's not here. I don't know where it is. I don't know where that is. What's up, darkness? How's it going? Wait, didn't I come from here? Oh no, I have to go here first though. I don't know. I mean I got the rifle. <sighs> they're two separate in they're two separate things in one. I just feel it makes sense to do this first. Red, come look. Theodore Shepard, I believe. How are the mighty fallen? Stairs are broken. Shite. We still need to find Shepard's cave. Damn it, I skipped out on so they're gonna make well, I did find his fucking cave. Being a bitch. I feel like I'm. I had to find. I thought I found his cave, bro. I was just following the directions. It's confusing. Can I? Oh wait, maybe grab the cart and move it. Cause so I see that. Can I move the cart? No, I can't move the cart. How do I get up there then? Maybe I should go to his cave first. I mean, oh no, let's go around the edge. This is going to be something else. Careful. The boards are rotten. This requires... This looks moth-eaten. No one slept here for a long time. The tower had to be abandoned years before the curse. Marada 
Soft delinquent fools. <laughs> and addle headed, black hearted, heathen bitches. <sighs> Hang on. I can live here. Better on my own anyway. But not with no bastard in roaches. <laughs> <laughs> What a dumbass. Wow, that's hilarious. You never know how you're going to go. He went out like a little pussy. That is so funny. A lonely, inglorious death. Fitting, really. Okay, what now? I've inspected the fucking watchtower. Is, some, is there something else? You know what? I'll bet you there's a key for the chest, and I have to find it. Epidemic in the mine, all guards are already back to Fort Jericho. That's probably what I need. Yeah, see, I need... So I had to finish up... Oh, that's annoying. Sorry, guys. I mean, the thing is, I was in there, and it was like... I had to locate it. So I was in the right spot. I probably just... Flora running from the ghost. And they lead to the cliff. She mentioned that, too. Now we got to deal with this cave first. See, there's a, there is a cave around here. That's why it's probably telling me to go to. And this is the way down over there. That's the way out. So I got to find a way. This is mad frustrating. So wherever we saw him. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, just a soul shard for us. I'll take it. It's good for upgrades. Oh, fuck, this is annoying. Okay, let's go back the way we came. I obviously missed something. I honestly think there was just like a little container with a key in it or something like that. Master Ted's secret little butchering place, eh? If you need a rest... That's all I needed to do is hop the damn thing, bro. I never could get the hang of smoking. I hear it's very good for you. <laughs> the things people thought, hey? There's the key. Notebook. Stealing my game. If she wants trouble, she'll get it. What a lovely man. At least one word for him. I can think of others. There. I knew it in this shit. Now he'll be able to get up. So I just literally missed it. He took Flora Abbott's superior ability as an insult. Yeah, Darren heard about that this morning. Coming out, uh, what, March 14th, I believe? 15th? Something like that? Something to look forward to. It's funny, because I recently had played both those games on the channel, so... Oh, interesting. Balanced veil? How is it? Hitting enemy with heavy attacks reduces cooldowns. See, melee 1385 52, 1480. So, melee damage is better. Block damage is. But this one has an extra. Vitality 52. This one has wrath and persistence instead, but it's roughly the same amount. So, it just depends how you want to look at it. Would you rather have a health upgrade or what? All right, Pennington Fort Jericho. Shepard, I hereby acknowledge receipt of your petition to disarm Flora Abbott. Nothing the lack of signatures in support of your request indicates that it is. If you'll excuse my rudimentary Spanish, a blazing pile of caca fuego. So, hot, sh hot shit, basically. 
I also, after no deliberation whatsoever, provide you answer. No. As Abbott looks to her business, you'll look to yours, sir, or I'll make it, make you mine. If the color of Hunter's hide has import, has import for you, you'll wish you'll not wish yours tanned. No surprise. A petition against Flora. He was obsessed. Really this guy. I don't know. It seems like Theodore met a uh, like a rather comical end. We. I mean, he's an easy one to banish. I think, guys. He's gonna be a banished. He's a banished boy. You know what's funny about this game? It's called Banishers, and we don't banish that many people. We do, but not many. I mean, we don't, personally. You can go for something higher, naturally. That's my gun. What an ass. Beloved rifle is retrieved by Flora. Shepherd's rifle. It's a quest item, though. The rifle must be Shepherd's. What was she doing with it? No idea. But we found his tie. We can make him manifest and ask. Can he wait? This ghost seems adorable. I'll protect you. Let's do the ritual. Hold up, guys. He come forth, Amigiri. Leave her to me. Sorry, I thought I was going to actually talk to him. Are you the ghost of Theodore Shepard? Theodore Shepard, sharpshooter and hunter. Who's this, mate? How about sister? My name is Antea Duarte. And you know Red McGraith? We're banishers, and you will address me directly, or you will regret it. <laughs> Tell the little lady not to bear her claws. She's dead and powerless. I'm not afraid of her. Am I to understand that you refuse to talk with me? Thanks for the visit, Mr. McCraith. I'll let you go. I'm on a mission here.
You will answer our questions, Mr. Shepard. We'll not be refused. Be grateful we don't just banish you. All right, all right. You want to talk? Why not? I'll entertain you. Talk. Why did you leave the safety of the fort? Exile. Captain Pennington exiled you. I exiled myself. Pride demanded I leave. That black-hearted bitch was a walking insult. No offense. Offense taken. You're full of shit. <laughs> You're all the same, aren't you? Acting like you know it all. Like you have character. Stroll in the fort as if she belonged there and not in some barracoon. As if she were the equal of an Englishman. What happened to you? Same thing has happened to you. What do you mean, what happened to me? You weren't always a mean-spirited maggot. I care. I provide. I fought. For my people. I shot down Indians and Frenchmen alike so my people could be free. If you say so. Is she serious? Mm hmm. Are you? Why are you trying to kill Flora Abbott? Revenge. I deserve it. So does she. Everyone wins. Revenge? For what? For my murder, that's what. I'm not leaving till this dirty egg gets her dues. You're telling us you're trying to kill Flora Abbott because she tried to kill you? She did kill me. She set me up and got lucky. And when she found my body, she stole my musket and left me to rot. Make no mistake, it was murder. And highly disrespectful with it. All right. Tell me more. Why would she murder you? Who knows what goes through the mind of a savage? She's been at me since the beginning. But you know who's worse? I'll indulge you. Who's worse? You. That's it. Weren't for you meddling bastards. Some Scooby-Doo. I'd be warm in my ass in Fort Jericho. <laughs> I would have gotten away with it, too. Pennington would be out of the frame, and I'd still be breathing. You didn't die the way you describe it. We've been to the watchtower. You fell. <laughs> You stood on a rotten plank and plunged through the deck. It's so good. No. She ran me from the fort. Took my life and my position. Prized my gun from my dead fingers. It's called looting, Whatever bro. Everyone does done. it. And tempting though it must have been. She did not kill you. She's nothing. She deserves to die. I'll end her. I'll end her. Do you hear me? I'll end her. Get out of my way. Really, bro? So he's gonna... I'm assuming we just keep going down. I thought we'd be kind of like... Done. Or, you know, something of the nature.
Oh, no, no, this was wrong. Okay, well. I I thought we we could banish his ass or something. How do I know where to go from here? Voices ah, here you go. Dead, Ripple, here. Let's hell? keep moving. This gunpowder is wet. Abbott, you lazy heathen drab. Twas the snow. You yap like a scared dog, Shepherd. No bite. The captain won't always be there to protect your ass. <laughs> I'll get you. Then you'd better not miss, little doggy. Because I'm faster than you. Things got out of hand fast. Gunpowder is life out here, but he'd no need to yell. I doubt she was in the wrong. Me neither. But she did threaten him. Shit, am I going the wrong way? Where do I go? It is this way. Why does it have me go this way? She might be down there. I never even thought of that. So, you know what? It, that's why it was all messed up. I was supposed to go to the gunpowder before running into into Abbott. Or not Abbott, sorry. Uh, what's his name? Jonathan? Before running into him. That's why it was all like cuckoo. And she's going to be at the base. Base of this. They have it all planned out. I'm a little surprised that there has been no... Um, what you call it? Ma, uh, what do we call them? Patches yet? I think there's a day one patch, but the game still has some stuttering. It's not terrible. Like I said, there's been a lot worse. Oh, theater. Yes, Teddy. I forgot I called him Teddy. I'm surprised there isn't one yet. I gotta do better at my, uh... Who's getting the sauce? Oh, you got me. You're lucky. Ready and waiting. To me. I forgot certain moves reload. I think when you switch, right? Oh, what happened? She gets to finish him off. I'm just finished. I'm done with this. They're gone. They're safe. Can we like um, pick who to side with? Well, obviously we can, but he kept saying, "Leave her to me." Like it's like I'm supposed to be like, "This is what's happening." Like, come on, bro. You're here. Lucky me. Call for tender. Serious and well paid offer. Looking for good quality whole wolf pelts. Great color. If possible, white would be appreciated. Clean would be great. To be sent to Mr. Torrington and Boss before the end of winter to receive payment. Is this another Bible? Oh no. It's her notebook. She's tracking. Shepard turned his gun on me. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, that might be good. I suppose go back. hunters came to New Eden from everywhere before the curse. Oh, won't well, let me look at it anymore. Shit, my bad. I'm glad to find you in good health, Flora. Of course you are. All right, I fess to it. The fight was closer than I'd like. I'm not much against a wolf without my gun. You fought with Shepard often, right? He pricked. Constantly. I stood up to him. 
He did not like that. He threatened to kill me. You threatened him too? It's kind of both. Did you mean it? He believed I meant it. And I made sure of it. But glad as his death leaves me, I didn't kill him. No, he fell. I spoke with Shepard's ghost. He accuses you of his murder. He also blames you for his exile. Theodore Shepard's misfortune is always someone else's fault. I know you didn't kill him. The boards in the tower were rotten. He fell to his death. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but how fitting. A laughable death for a laughable man. Always the hero, yet ever the victim. I found your musket. Strangely, amongst your belongings, I found a second. Theodore Shepard's gun. It's mine now. His death was an accident, but you didn't tell us that you'd found his body. Yes, well, you found it yourselves. Good for you. It wasn't that far. You let me believe that you'd only seen the ghost. But you'd found Shepard's body. You knew where he'd died. So? Flora, you took his musket. That's why he stayed. He's bound to the gun. We need the gun. The train band needs every weapon it can get. I get haunted for helping out. A story of hate that lived on after death. Let's give it an ending. Okay. This one's interesting because... She didn't help anything, really, but... She didn't really do anything wrong, per se. She looted. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have a problem with that. He was an asshole about it. But he hated her, and he tripped, and he fell. So they fought, but I... Do I want to banish... At this point, I don't know. I feel a little bit different, because I feel kind of bad to him, too. But you know what? Fuck him. Banish him. He's a bitch. I don't like him. Theodore Shepard. You were a terrible man. As a ghost, you're even worse. Never once have you accepted responsibility for your failings. Nope. Not even in death, when you became dangerous to the living. I'm the victim here. Revenge is my due. By right. You were kicked By out, right. and you fell. Allow me to make the introductions. Theodore Shepard, meet the consequences of your actions. Life to the living. Death, death to, to the, the dead. dead. Although, I will say my opinion on him changed slightly. I didn't feel as bad because she wasn't very gracious. He wasn't a gracious winner, so to speak. Thank you know what you. I mean? Well, Theodore me. Shadow, look how good that rifle anyway. is. Well, is it? Well, no, I have a level five. I don't know if it's considered as good as mine, but let's take a look. Actually, it's better. Oh, my goodness. It's actually, as a level four... It's almost better than the level 5. Only by 6, the strength is down. Everything else goes up. Which is pretty phenomenal. And with an upgrade, this bad boy is going to clap. So it's got a rifle damage of 33. What's this one got? Oh, 49. This does have better damage. I got to look at it from that perspective. But this is level 5. But it's got strength, wisdom, vitality boost. Rifle shots consume 30 spirit points to knock down enemies. I don't know if I like that. Oh, no. I don't know if I like that. We'll hold on to this then because the damage is better. But sometimes damage isn't everything, you know? I'll go now. Back to the fort. Perhaps we shall meet again. You do that. Perhaps okay. not. I, I actually don't really want to meet her again. She was kind of a rude and, in, 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 you know, in the long and short of it. Now we got to get back to base and there's going to be, how many is that? That's two. Wow, that's only two. This will be three. We got to get back there. Where's the nearest fast travel? Bro, are you fucking kidding me? I'm better off walking. It doesn't really make sense to go back the other way. Go back that way just to fast travel. You're not going to save much time. If any. That's too bad. Normally, they, they end the mission where um, you need to. You know? Was banishing him too much? Nah, nah, I don't think so. I think he deserved it. What do you guys think? I mean, he acted like he was murdered, but he slipped and he fell. I mean, I think he was acting out of embarrassment. 
But his the thing is, even though he it was like a, um, you know, he was he was viewed as a as a man who was more cat like he he felt very. What's the term I'm looking for? Even though he was very like, like he acted out because he was embarrassed and he had a deep, um, insecurity. Right? He had these insecurities, but that doesn't condone those actions. You know what I mean? He probably wouldn't have acted out on those if he wasn't, you know. But them's the breaks, right, guys? Them's the breaks. Got to pay the piper. You can't shoot somebody and be like, "Oh, I'm scared of, I'm scared of threats." So I had to shoot somebody. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, okay, sure, you're scared of a threat. There was no guarantee. Can't just shoot people. So this will be the last, uh, last one in this area. I no, not in this area, but in the camp. If we go to the haunting cases for this district, there's still two more Mount Pleasant. So it's around the area. Like I said, I'm going to try and finish off the two Mount Pleasants. This is uh, number three. Is this really three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's still four more to go. Yeah, so. We have a ways to go. These are the last two missions. These are the last three missions. That's why I'm trying to balance it. I think we'll be okay. Based on the amount of time we have. That second, hopefully the mission we're on, the main mission we're on, doesn't do too much. Anyway, let's just get to it. Oops, I didn't mean... Oh, that was a waste. That's okay. We can always change it. Wait a minute. Weren't we here before? Who are they? Who's that? Who enters? Did she die? Oh, Dude, what the hell? God. That was like... We talked to her. What happened? Don't just stand there holding your whisk, man. Help me. Don't panic. You're in no danger. What's your name? I'm Cotton Peabody. Of course you are. As as you, sound. you may not think it dangerous, but her ghost was here. I well, you're in luck. My name is Red McCraith, and I banish ghosts. I've heard of you. The banisher who lived. Was it luck, boy, or was it cowardice? What are you talking about? Right, soldier. Spill. What's going on exactly? What happened to Nurse Wings? What do you think happened? She died, that's what happened. She died, and now she's trying to take me too. That's really interesting how they combine those, hey? When did you last see Nurse Wings alive? She really has her wings now. <laughs> Not yet, we gotta give them to her. Just call me Red Bull. I, my name is Red, I'm listening to myself in. Red Bull. Then she left, then she came back as a ghost. Red Still Mac gives you wings. A busted in Lancet. Things write themselves. Screaming. Is that you? Did no one else answer? None here gives two shites for their fellows. Too busy looking out for their own asses. I could die screaming in here and none would care till me corpse began to stink. Why would she? He's still got that dead? boil on his cheek. It's disgusting. She's a ghost. He ain't here for beer and biscuits. He's right, in a way. She is killing him. Is your illness taking a turn for the worse? Ah, it worsens. When she comes, I sicken. She's a better nurse living, I tell you that. Where does her ghost go, you think? She comes and goes through a locked door. After that, not a clue. Is there a key? Or another way in? Perhaps. This was the blockhouse upon a time. There was a passage out. Through the westernmost tower. I had a key. Search my things in the back barracks. to the barracks. They haven't been plundered. Might still be there. I love how you can ask people what right, the word is. I, honestly, at this point, I don't care what the word is. It could be the bird. Shot, you expect I'll go. You stay here. Uh, 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 she won't come in the light. Oh, oh damn it. That's the second time I've accidentally hit F instead of E. Anybody. It's not something I've done. It's, she brings them. I love why I can't go in her office anymore. It's like it's haunted. Oh. Nope, you can't. Okay, yeah. It's like you can't go in her office anymore. It's haunted. <laughs> We gotta go to the barracks first. Those sweet nurse wings, kind and caring, comes back as a vengeful ghost. Red Bull. It happens, but in this case, I doubt it. 
If she was acting, she did a bloody good job. I thought the barracks were over the other side, but maybe not. All right, here we go. All right, we have what we came for. We've read all the stuff in here already. Oh. I must leave for a short time. Please check on Mr. Peabody from time to time. Ignore his foul mouth, for he is ill. Shall turn soon. What why if she's not she dead? Like that? And why has she... Sorry, I'm trying to leave. Maybe she had an accident. I don't think she's dead. She I think someone else is like... Maybe there's another specter down. that's like taking her form to troll him. I don't know. That's my guess. I could be wrong. Here's our tower. Is it actually her? Mr. McCraith, forgive me. I did not see you there. I see you bring company. How lovely. Do you remember we talked about how I lost my partner in New Eden? Such a tragedy. Antea, if I remember rightly? Antea Duarte. Good to meet you. But how? Oh my, you lived. Well, this is marvelous news. Well, not really. And good news these days is so terrible. She doesn't rare. know she's dead. Nurse Wings, I died in New Eden. Excuse me? You and I are very much alike, Nurse Wings, don't you think? Are we? How so? I'm a ghost, Nurse Wings. And so are you. Are you sure you're well, Miss Duarte? You sound feverish. Perhaps you need to lie down and rest? I don't rest, Nurse Wings. Sound familiar? She won't be told. We'll have to prove it to her. If you need it, I may still have some vervain. You let me know. Wow. Goodbye, How do you Nurse not Wings. accept that? For now. I'll be here. As ever. Maybe she feels she has unfinished right. business here. That's the problem. She won't listen. We must find proof. He's getting haunted again, even though she's just trying to take care of him. Mentor stage for headache, chamomile, stomach pain to verify children. Some have sniffles. We'll try tobacco leaves and mint. Poor Nurse Wings is losing her grip. I've already read all this stuff, but I, I read it pre, pre mission. I've lost my journal. Here starts a new one. If there is wintergreen, is beneath the snow, and I cannot find it. He suffers. I must go further into the forest in search of wintergreen. She neither sleeps nor eats, but doesn't question it. She gets her sustenance elsewhere now. From him, probably. Moments from the past are still here. Are you fucking kidding me? I, oh, I need her diary. I was going to say. echo here, but we need the tie. Cotton Peabody is sick and, to put it mildly, obnoxious. I like him anyway. It can't be easy having one scrofula drained so regularly. Uh, the oil of wintergreen seems to work. Perhaps a tea of wintergreen would have a mild effect on those with coughs. Our denial runs deep and Peabody sickens. The journal spoke of a clifftop hideaway. A cozy wee pub, then. Right. Let's go for a walk. So these aren't her diaries. Yeah, see, I think I read all these already. So before we... Because, yeah, the memory's probably going to show how she passed. This one's close enough. Anne's medics remind me of my mother's. The oils and ointments. Infusions and concoctions. I bet she knew her business. She treated the men the slavers worked to death in the fields. Though she had little money, she was very famous. That's what saved her. I think we found her. There's an echo. Damn. How long has she been here? No more than a few days. Here's the key to the infirmary. That's a shame.
Through time and distance, I now see. How did she die? What if she was killed? <coughs> oh, she was sick. She had some sort of ailment. I think we kind of knew that, though, no? That's her tie. And there it goes, sailing down the river. Do you think it's just in the water? It may have slid from her fingers and fallen. Let's retrieve it. Remind me not to get on your bad side. Get back up. Oh, she's tired for some reason. Get out of there. They're feeding off their own rage. Such massive damage. to finish the kill off with her with the banish whatever you want to call it <coughs> where's it having me go something to jump and it's like oh of course Where the hell did her diary go? It's these side missions happen to me like wild goose chases, don't they? Like you start meeting with them and then Ooh, they are corrupted weeds. You have to just search for the item that misses them or you know that chains them together. Can you imagine blaming her or blaming the patient on this one? Like that's crazy shit. Okay, I see that, but where is the source? There it is. That was more of them. Oh, that's a waste. I didn't need to do that. Okay, so we gotta find the sources. I see that's the opening there, but... There's one there. How, how many branches are there? Looks like there's three. Yeah, so one there. One over there. And this one seems to be, I think, up there, but I can't really shoot it without going all the way up and around, so I might have to... I might have to try going around here. 
You aim for the heart. I'll destroy the roots. Because we're going to have to clear the path. There's no way we can shoot it from down there without doing this. Standing by. Try another one. That's true, that's true. Things have changed dramatically, but still stay the same at the same time. I know. So that's gonna be interesting. So can I actually, can I shoot them all from here? They set that up so you must be able to do it. Yeah, 100%. So yeah, I'll be able to get it from here. Oh, I should've reloaded first. Oh, I missed. Got it. Trust me, you don't want to garden. I'm going back down this way. Oh, I don't have a choice. I'm going back down this way because there's a chest that was blocked off. I don't know if you guys remember that. I never mentioned it, but I saw it, and I'm just like, I made a mental note. All of it helps. This looks like the place. Let's find the journal. Just a box, but it'll help. Do we find it? That we did. The Sage of Infusion and the cat Cataplasm worked. I've caught the gripe. With my lungs, it may take me some time to recover, but I must. I have Mr. Peabody to attend to. I will away to my special place to rest. I'll not risk infecting others. And she ended up passing. She knew something was wrong. Yet now that she has died, her ghost denies it. She was a healer. Perhaps dedication binds her. A dedication her patient scarcely deserves. Welcome back, we should Trump. go back to the infirmary. Anne will surely be there. Isn't there a cave over here? I don't know if I need one, actually, a fast travel. Every time we find one of these, it's a new way up and around. I wonder if this game's got a new game plus. It must, because you go back and you change your actions the second time around. No! Shit, missed my op. Let's go with this. Can I join in too? Not gonna ask for help? Now, oh, we're actually just going back to release the echo.
and reminds me and some lag here look at this chop we hid in our house when we were running from the english she washed our wounds and sang as we buried the dead never stop smiling i like her already they bombed the house down with her inside <clears throat> i'm sorry uh, maybe more still haunts the wounds waiting for the next poor wounded soul Oh, sorry. an infinity of paths. Hold still. Get your filthy hands off me! He did it, That's obviously. enough, Mr. Peabody. Get off me, you evil old frigate! If he piss if he spits it Oh my god. Ew. I was just about to say, if he spits in her face, and that's exactly in what he his did. Temper, Cotton Peabody gave Anne Wings the disease that killed her. Wow, that is so shitty. Still here, are you? What new comedy do you two bring me now? Remember on the clifftop when you closed your eyes and it felt like you slept for a very long time? H have you been spying on me? Remember how when you awoke, you felt lost and distant. How you could not remember who you were. How slowly you came back to yourself. How something drove you to it. Something that felt more important than anything you had ever felt. No. Yes. My patient needed me. I knew it from my head to my heart. That's it. That's why you stayed. That's what keeps you here. My dear, the desire to help my patients means only one thing. It means I'm a nurse. Cotton Peabody's health concerns you greatly. True? I'm a very good nurse. I think you know what he needs. I think you know his remedy. He must have wintergreen. Fresh oil, decocted, then used as a salve. Yet, though you treat him, his condition worsens. You must have noticed. To maintain the illusion of life, you feed upon his essence. Even as you tend to him, you leech his life away. No. No. Your memory is fading. It is not. At least, I don't think it is. Once you kept meticulous records. Now your notes, if you keep them at all, are, are chaotic. It's just that I'm all alone. No one to talk with. No one to share a laugh with. I've gone a little potty. How long is it since last you slept? How long since last you ate? Well, I have been very busy. You're tired but cannot sleep. You're hungry, but can't face eating. Time to face the truth. No, it's just... I'm tired. I forget things. I forget to stop working. Nurse Wings. Anne. You're dead. Just like Antea. You've convinced yourself you're still alive, but... You are not. But... If Mr. Peabody with us by my presence then why does your woman not wither you i would but i take my strength from other people my god i could never do that then the longer you stay to treat your patient the quicker he will die no no now she feels bad about it 
And now she's running away. Hold Stop the, running. Not swings. Anne. I can help you. Let me help you. She's heading back to where her body lies. Anne, are you there? She probably needs to see her body herself. If I take another step, if I fall, I won't die. No, you won't die. All I wish was to save a soul. Just one soul at a time. God. It's time we put an end to this. The devotion of poor Anne Wings, who even dead, kept on caring. No. Her ghost hungers for essence and calls it caring. Hmm. Interesting way of looking at it. My sweet Ethel ghost with weapons. We lack food. We lack sleep. We are cold, but we stand fast. Tomorrow I shall go to Helen Priest and the, and the Matthews Fellow in search of munitions. I will write you as soon as I get back, your Talbot. Uh, no, Brett, I don't. But the whole concept of it spooks me, regardless. I mean, Cotton was the one who killed her. Like, why would you do that as an ill man? What a fucking asshole. Well, tis all I want. She still won't let go. I've been doing you harm. Oh. For that, I beg your forgiveness. Interesting. Oh, Mr. McRae. Peabody. We must talk. This sounds ominous. Where lies the problem? And Wings had the grip. The grip. She packed up and left so she'd not pass on the infection. Parra must have known she'd not make it. I... I did not know. I could not have known. How could you indeed, with your head so far up your own behind? She yeah, had Annie. cough. Just a cough. I couldn't have known it would kill her. Well, kill her, it did. You're the one who made her sick. The day you spat on Anne Wings, you gave her your disease. I never spat on... No. Wait. I did. She was at me with the lancet. The pain gave me a wee touch of fury just for a moment. I gulped without thinking. <laughs> you knew you were infectious. You wished to harm her. It was an attack. So, Nurse Wings died trying to heal you. You believe <clears throat> her ghost returns to harm you. Interesting. Well, all good things they say come to an end. I'll miss our little chance. I'm gonna send her naturally. That's an easy choice. Anne Wings, you're a dedicated nurse. All you do, you do with love. But right now, you're a threat to your last patient. He needs me. I just want to help. Does he need you? Do you really want to help? What comedy is this? You've been the dedicated nurse for so long, you're afraid that if you stop, you'll cease to exist. Let it go, Anne. You've done a great job. But the job is done. Cotton Peabody deserves to get well. And only I would treat him. We'll do what we can for him. You've done enough, Anne. You won't be forgotten. All right, then. If you're sure. Thank you. Farewell. Is she gone? 
Am I safe? It's over. Anne Wings is gone for good. Gone for good? Aye. Great. Is it that great? In her diary, Nurse Wings said oil of wintergreen could cure Peabody. It would be fitting. Do we have that? Must at least try. Let's get the ingredients. Oh, I see. That's... Side mission. I don't know. Fuck him. Let him die. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's mean. I think this is the one we saw on the map that was like we weren't sure of. I don't know, I could be wrong. <clears throat> what is luck in here? Time to work, Vanisher. Spectre nearby. Big one. I'll summon it now. I don't know if I want to summon it. Oh wait, didn't we didn't have the more leap damage. Fuck it, let's do it. I mean I, I need those upgrades. You losing your edge? Oh, it's a. S oh, sorry, it's a scourge. Show your shape in flesh. Ask for help if you need it. Okay, switch, please. Oh, right, it's him. My bad. Barely does any damage, hey? I'm right here. That does good damage. Brace yourself. Reinforcements. Use the heal, it would Man, that is so annoying when I'm literally I see my health is low and I'm hitting F to heal and there's like a delay because he's getting hit. You have to be completely free of any damage or any attack. It's really annoying because I have what I needed to do. Turn out and turn up. 
turn out and turn up. The beast have offspring. The nightmare doesn't influence it. It's just a scourge. I have another in sight. Possession incoming. I almost had him beat. Now I'm not doing as well. Once more, we'll see Dude, it happened again. It's such a slow animation that in order to actually heal, you like I'm trying to get away, but I, uh, that's one thing I don't like is how like I know I'm gonna get good money from this, and I've already committed to it. So it's like, but it takes so long to drop its health because she's the one who does all the damage. Ready and waiting. See, 429 huge damage. It's just a scourge. This isn't over yet. Fuck off. Wait, why did it waste it? This isn't over yet. Because I'm not gonna react in time. Get up. See, I told you. I'm not gonna react in time. I knew it because he was still getting up. I was dead. I knew I was dead instantly. 
Fucking cunt, man. This is getting really annoying. I almost had it that first time, but then just because of some cheese, you just get like an unlucky... Uh, it's always at the end that it seems to spam attacks. I summon you. Look to me. The nightmare doesn't I don't understand. It's just a scourge. Why it does such good damage at the beginning and then it doesn't do any. It doesn't really have a sweet spot either. Because leap damage is a bit massive, they want you to use it with her. He's pissing me off now, bro. Oh, of course I missed. Not gonna make this easy for me. I'm literally dodging, but you see how it's doing that? I'm dead. If I die again, I'm not gonna bother with it. Guy's a bitch. See what I mean? Like he does so much fucking damage. Like all these guys have Look so much me. damage on him. Now it's doing like nothing. This is such a long fight. Did we miss a few? It's barely doing anything, man. I feel like we've been here for an eternity. Just don't waste time. Get out of here. That was a that was a long one. Well. 
Who's that? Yes. Something's here. <clears throat> A histrionic ghost. Haven't had one of those in a while. Rebecca Hardgrave was quite the histrion. Oh, hard. Right. Sinner. Who's the sinner? Me? Or someone else? He killed me. He killed me! At least yes, she knows. Yes, we saw you. We're if we say we have no sin, so we mistake. deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lost the epistle of John, I believe. Chapter 1. Verses 8 and 9. You know your Bible. Some. Red McCraith, Banisher. We can talk scripture if you like. John Rumble. Oh, not really in the mood to talk, sir. What's the word round here? Oh, I didn't want to ask him that. Word about what? I don't care. Is anything the matter? Perhaps I may be of service. I don't need anything from the likes of you. A ghost screams bloody murder, yet he needs no help. Forgive me if I'm being nosy, but have you recently suffered a bereavement? I, I don't know what you've heard. But you, keep your oar out of my boat. What would I have heard exactly? Don't mock me. I know what they say about me. I know what you all say. My dear, beloved wife is gone. Abigail is gone. That's all you need to know. It was an accident. A terrible accident. I'll speak of it no more. For someone who just lost his wife, he's awfully nonchalant. An accident? How did she die? She fell. She went to the cliff top and slipped and did not survive the fall. Now, leave me be. He's shutting down. We need a lever to prise him open. Oh, sick, Mystic. Which one you got? That's 14, 15, 13? Alright. Uh, appearing in person, John Rumble, son of Alden Rumble, and Blythe Rumble, nay, Leighton, living at Osbold, Osboldwick and Abigail Walker, daughter of Odell Walker and the late Rachel Walker, born Moores, living in Osbaldwick, in which John Rundle and Abigail Rumble and Abigail Walker, in their in their will, have ob observed and signed the community's agreements of obligations and associations that follow. John Rumble agrees to take his spouse Abigail Walker, as Abigail Walker agrees to take his husband John. Jesus Christ, I don't care, honestly. It's a fucking marriage license. I'm not reading all this shit. All this legal mumbo jumbo. <clears throat> Abigail's clothes. Already packed. Am I not fall? I must have missed it. Hold on. I'm not following this case. I know. You know what? Ah, oh, what a waste again. My bad. Voices from the dead ripple here. I sense an echo somewhere nearby. Do we have enough for the echo?
Toki me indrasta, skal nam phalas. Will you stop walking away from me each time we are to converse? This is not conversation, Abigail. We do not converse. Not no more. You berate me, you belittle me, Abigail. I, I walk away. You don't care. You don't care about me. You don't care about our life together. I gave it all up to follow you to this godforsaken place, and you don't care if we belong. We are trapped here! I could die and you'd not blink That's an eye. That's right! I don't care! I don't care about none of it! Why don't you just troop off and kill yourself? And give me some goddamn peace! <laughs> not a very nice man, turns out. The resentment between these two ran deep. The harsh price to pay for forgetting who you are. Uh, Corinthians, let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. Likewise, also the wife unto the husband. The wife hath not power over of her own body, but the husband. And likewise, also the husband hath not power of his own body, but the wife. Defraud ye not un, not one the other, except it be with consent with, for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. Do not deprive one another. Puritan prayer and mandatory marital sex. Quite the life. An old key. Convenient. Let's match it to a lock. All right. On this fourth day of December 1686, agreement made to exchange the price of the journey from York, England to New Eden, New England, for five years' work under Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin Bly as foreman in the Bly Mines and servant to the Bly household. That is to say, the fourth day of December 1691, all of whom have signed and marked with their ordinary marks this day and year above, and the said contract shall remain in the hands of Master Brigham until the end of the term of the contract. What's up, Wolf? My dear John, despair not, Satan tempts us, it is true, but our Lord has created no sin that we cannot surpass. Marriage can be difficult, but we should not forget to surrender our hearts to God. He is with us, he is, he is always with us. But I want to reassure you, these unspeakable sinful dreams you speak of, these impure thoughts are not that serious. You feel guilt, and that is most important. Our Lord make us, made us weak, it is our nature. You must pray and listen to him. He will answer you like he always do. And as a friend, I would like to tell you, I am sure that sooner or later you and your wife will lay together again. Or, and I know you will not hear of it. You will divorce. We are his lambs, and he guides us through your, our temptations. His wife, Abigail, had turned her back on him in the bedroom. And not in a good way. That's not the Puritan way. Why feel guilty if her death was an accident? He should feel guilty. He treated her like shit. Spectral stains about the bed. Hence John's unspeakable dreams. A spirit stamped this place with its presence and left a trail. Uh, wait, wait. We need to search the barn. Which one's the barn? I don't want to talk to him until I... Didn't I go in here already? Oh, I must have not looked at everything. Yeah, I missed one. My dearest Abigail, I think of the day we first met in Selby. On the, of that moment, our eyes met, and I knew there and then that I had found the person I was going to spend the rest of my life with. That you have accepted me is the most beautiful thing that has happened in my life, and I know the rest of it will be even more beautiful. I can live together with you or not at all. Ever thine, ever mine, ever ours, John. My dearest love, you cannot know how much I miss you and how much I wish you were here. The days pass so slowly when you are not with me. Each, uh, each while I pass thinking of you, I find I adore you even more. I hope you will travel safe and come back to me as shining lovely as you ever are. I pray to our Lord every day for you, and I know he hears me. Please come back quick. I cannot wait to marry you. Nothing will separate us again. Ever thine, ever mine, ever our, or ever ours, Abigail. My dearest Abigail, you cannot imagine how happy I was to read your words. The work here is difficult and painful, but when I think about you, my heart is warmed. I cannot wait to take you in my arms. I'll write to you again some days hence. 
It sounds like they loved each other. Well, that changed. Yeah. Okay, let's head to the cliff first, and then once we go to the cliff, I find if we have all the information, and then we ask your boy about it. We should talk to John about his lovely marriage. I'm going to the cliff first. Actually, maybe it makes sense to ask, and then I can get, then I investigate her death. So that way we know what we're dealing with. That, that actually, this is the other way around. Sorry. I'll talk to I'll talk to him first. What do you want? It's one thing to argue with your wife. It's another to push her over the edge. Abigail was in distress. Yet all you could offer in loving kindness was to tell her to kill herself. Abigail had an accident. A terrible accident. I love my wife. I loved her. The man doth protest too much, he thinks. Hmm. You argued with Abigail. Threats were made. Fair to say your marriage was troubled, yes? Not your business. That's fair to say. Step carefully. Keep him talking. You met Abigail in Selby, I believe. I... How do you... How could you know that? You've been prying. How dare you? Your house is haunted. Your wife. We want to help. My wife is gone, and you know nothing of my troubles. You troubled by your dreams. Perhaps I could help. Oh, I doubt that. Abigail might have helped, but it's too late for that now, eh? I don't sleep good. My head is clear. People are tense, but we cope. We always do. Do you, really? Tell me more about Abigail. God gave her more wits than most. But she wasn't shy about it. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, I tell her. She had too much passion. She dwelt in earthly desires. And that's a problem how? When she stopped attending worship, I knew she was lost. Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you. <clears throat> okay, now we can go there. I find John's opinion of Abigail condescending. All he does is blame her. Never questions his own behavior. Well, he's a man who lost control and can't admit it. Of course he blames her. He's an ass. I don't actually know where I'm going yet. There is some. We must find a way down. There's a camp here. Damn it, it keeps having me go this way. I don't know how to fucking go down. Something to do with this, maybe? This will be the cliff John mentioned. Watch your step. <clears throat> okay, one, two, I see the one over there. I'm thinking there's three.
That one we can't really see. Unless it has something to do with that. Ah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Where was the last one again? I mean, we got one, two, and then down there. I could probably get it from here, actually. I can't. Shit, come on, let me go. I'm under a time limit here. Oh, fucking bitch. I ran out of time, didn't I? What is it doing? I can't tell if it's active or not. I don't know if it resets when you switch back. Okay, so there's got to be a way to get all three simultaneously, but apparently I can't shoot this angle. Like, that's as low as I can go, so I can't even hit it from here. So is there a way to go down? Maybe I go down here to free something? Or maybe I just got to see it from a different angle? Or maybe this is the way around. Yes, this is the way around, isn't it? Because, yeah, once you switch, that's it. I'll put this down just in case. Oh, whoops. <coughs> Sorry. I got I to gotta find them again. So there's the one there. Fuck, I can't remember where they are, guys. This one's a pain in the ass. It's down low, so I have to climb. Like, how am I going to have enough time for all this shit? Can I see it from here? Yes, I can, but barely. All right, this is going to be, yeah, it's going to be tight, but we'll get it. Can okay, no, I hustle, 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 hustle? Precise. Well done. That one was very specific. This must be what Abigail fell. I have another in sight. Spectre heading for that course. That's annoying. You guys are spamming me. I need more time. You're in its Paul, I'm doing good. How are you? What's up, Chris? Welcome. I feel an echo ringing. Like a I, I had just seen. I just saw it, but there it is. 
My heart sinks when I look at him, and I can't help but wonder, do I still love him? I'm burdened and ashamed and guilty because I don't love him. And yet I do. How does that work? I don't care that we are childless. I don't care that we are poor. It was always the two of us. That was our promise to each other. Let me guess there's another broke. There's another mirror piece. Who was with her? I wonder what they were saying. We must find the place she fell from. Wouldn't it make sense for her to be here? What do we have here? A safe haven. Shelter from the turmoil. I recently met someone. Things are going from bad to worse with John, and I can't stand being alone with him. So in these times of doubt, it's good to have someone to support me. She doesn't she understands how I feel, my pain and my anger, and she doesn't judge me, she listens to me. That makes me feel good. only disdain is owed no loyalty. Remember what he promised when you came to New Eden. He is a failure of a man. He puts you down to raise himself up. Don't be his weakling, Abby. Act! All right, which uncannily resembles itself when the two halves are put together. It looks unused, but bears the inscription, Ethel Bly. Ah, uh, the other side of the conversation. Those mirrors feel like ghost ties, but I don't think they are. There's an inscription, Ethel Bly. There may be answers at Bly Manor. I wonder who Abigail was talking to. She sounded devious. Who benefits from belittling a servant? Lover? Jealous friend? Something worse? Hey, Zach. Oh, hi. At last you're here. You speak. I speak and I follow. I needed to be sure you take my side. We're banishers. We don't take sides. So noble. You must feel so very fortunate. What's with the hide and go seek? Why manifest now? I'm stronger now. Stronger? Oh. What's your reckoning, Banisher? I reckon you infected John's dreams. You plague him with horrible visions. <laughs> John's sinful thoughts are his own. He did not need me to die to help them. Don't indulge it, Red. I died at the bottom of that cliff, you know. I was alone. For hours. In agony. No one missed me. No one came. John did not come. I thought John was the one who pushed you. Didn't he? Even before my Metaphorically. Death, he my backs. He wanted me out. I did not know how badly his hatred burned. But when he saw me dead, I saw it in his face. 
behind the shock, he was relieved. What happened to you, Abigail? What do you think happened? We're asking the questions here. Are you? So, what happened to you, Abigail? A man happened to me. A bitter, pitiful world happened to me. I had a life in Yorkshire. Work I loved. I never wanted to come here. That doesn't entirely answer the question. You're a capable woman. Were. As were you. So how did you allow a man to bind you to this realm? You first. <laughs> I am not bound here by the weakness of a man who cannot let me go. We found pieces of the mirror that used to belong to you. Give them to John. By rights, the mirror is his. You hate John, but you want him to have your things. Isn't that just a little contradictory? You're a ghost haunting a banisher. Isn't that just a little contradictory? How was it for you? To die, I mean. I'm not discussing this with you. Betrayed. Again. Failed. Again. Making excuses for the one you love. Again. What? No. And how did it feel to be deceived by your best friend? By your first love? Enough. Who found your body? Who told John about your... fall? I don't recall, but does it matter? One moment I was alive and lost in thought, the next I was dead and bound to John. And to him, my death felt... Good. The deepest comfort. Solace most profound. I felt those feelings. But those feelings were not mine. We aren't going anywhere. We'll keep digging. Yes. Do that. That was odd. She was odd. Very. A dead woman with a shite bag husband. Nothing odd about it. Antea seems very motivated by this. Drag the husbands down, do you? Excuse me? I... Let's just move on. Yes. Let's... Uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be checking those out. I don't know if I'll be getting it on PS5. It's just whatever they end up giving me. P PC, PS5, one of the two. But yeah, I do want to check those out. Uh, as of now, uh, I've got... Oh, where am I going? Oh, this is right. As of now, um... What's happening? I don't know which one I'm going to. Oh, here he is. As of now, yes, I've, I'm, I'm going to be streaming Pacific Drive. If something changes, I'll adjust it. I'll not be about the bush, John. You're haunted. Your emotions are a shambles. And Abigail's ghost is latched onto them. You feel like shite, and that'll be why. Don't deny it. And I know you won't wish to hear it, but I've been sent to help. Trust me. Abigail died. She died. She can't come back. It's a trick. The devil's trick. He took her. He's trying to trick me too. No one's tricking you, John. No one but the resentful, bitter ghost of your dead wife. The devil toys with the darkness of the soul, and you, sir, are lying. He's a tough nut. Squeeze hard. You wanted Abigail gone. Despite your love, despite your loyalty and your faith, you wanted her to disappear from your life. No. I loved her. And so you keep saying. 
But that tiny part of you that felt relief when you learned of her death is also very real. Both feelings are true. Both feelings can exist together inside of you. I had bad thoughts, terrible thoughts, but that's all they were. Just thoughts. She wouldn't talk to me. She wouldn't lie with me. I was her husband. She deserved your compassion, too. Instead, you wished her dead. I did not want her gone. Not really. Not in my heart, I swear it. What does God have to say about that? These are the words of him that hath a devil. John, chapter 10, verse 21. Go to hell. Come, let him sit with his own guilt. Didn't really work, did it? all the fun. I gotta get to a fire too, because I've got all these essence points to spend. Oh, I can't get through there. Unlocked. Defeat 50 enemies with the banishment. Got their asses kicked. The bone fragments seem to be the most common. I don't even know what those are for. Bly Estate. This must be where the Rumbles used to work. I think of Bly oh, Manor, like that. the show. You this know? is locked from the, or the other limited side. series on Netflix. This shit. This bit is tedious. And tell you, what did Abigail mean when she talked about you being betrayed by the first person you loved? Nothing. I feel like nothing. I don't want to talk about it, Rory. Surprise, bloody surprise. I don't even know where it is then. Did I ever mention how good we are together? Yeah. It's always good to hear. Now this door needs another key. There's a bunch of them. Some of them have two, some of them have three, four.
Oh, it is there. Okay. This one's still got it on it, but we could. This probably. Will this go out the front door? Where does this go? Oh, yeah, we don't want to leave yet. Probably go somewhere upstairs. Now this door needs another key. I wouldn't say a key is right. Damn it. Can you find a way around the locked door? She thrown from here? I pi this is her second diary. I picture John dead. I open my eyes on my feet beside the bed when I should be sleeping. What is happening to me? Please, God, help me. Was she haunted as well? Or possessed? Adds another twist to the mix. Bunch of keys. There you go. Those are going to help. Maybe this key will open the way. Lately, I'm darkly angry, but with Ethel. I am nonplussed and not a little fe fearful. Uh, the business struggles in there is trouble in the mines, but I have not reason to be vexed so with my darling wife. My grandfather was a violent man, especially to my grandmother, and I swore I would not let my familiar characteristics get the better of me. But the blood demons have found their way into my head. I must not turn from righteousness. I must send the devil away and banish from my heart his sins. So the master keys don't do shit on that, or what? Dude, I literally have a set of master keys. What are they talking about? Old Mr. Bly caught me straightening the paintings again and raised his voice to me. Those cursed paintings, those are cursed walls. The house itself and all within it turn on me. Uh, he's hiding something amidst these dark walls, I'm sure of it. I must know what it is. It has to do with those strange paintings. I straighten them, then, they then find them crooked. I found that straightening the painting in the bedroom tilts all the other ones. No cry of light, no glimmer. I also found that the painting in the dining room does not tilt any other painting. Do the walls keep shifting? In the darkness of the ballroom, is pa its painting only tilts the one in the guest room. My thoughts keep drifting as walls keep shifting. What would happen if I straightened the paintings in the guest room in the office? Here then, a lot long last is my darkness, no sound, no hope. Interesting. So I have to move some paintings? Can I go in here? The imprint in the velvet hey, Jason. is shaped like our mirror. Part of the story is waiting to be revealed. I don't need you no more. What are you doing? <laughs> Foolish girl. Please, no. Please don't hurt him. No!
Whatever's in this mirror is neither ghost nor spectre. <laughs> it's like a demon. Where is Abigail? Abigail has left us, my dears. By what name should we know you? Always that same question, and you know better than to ask it, Antea Duarte. I don't need a name to send the likes of you back from whence you came. Hey, Sue, how's it going? Before. How does she know your name? It's not Abigail. It's a... well, some would call it a demon. A bloody pest is what it is. You call us demons, but from where we watch in the great below, we are angels. You poor, transparent, knowable you are upside down. <laughs> what have you done with Abigail? She's here, in a way. I am the pool, deep and dark. She is the ripple that spreads and dies away, returning to the whole, a thing no longer. You're possessing her? Huh? We are friends. Such good friends. No, you're a lie. Vapor in the darkness. Really? When you sit beneath a tree alone with no one to talk to, no one to play with, how easy it is to lose yourself. You know nothing about me. Ignore it, Antea. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Poor, transparent, knowable you. You target couples. You nest inside their hearts and plant the seed of resentment there and grow it until it flowers and destroys them. We've felt you in our hearts too. You came to me. You all come to me. When all you have lost becomes too much to bear. Tell me, little girl, how does it feel to watch the world make ready to pass you by? Do not answer, Antea. You said it yourself. We shouldn't engage with it. I know what I said, and I know what I'm doing. Get on with it, then. You're the Banisher now. You get on with it. Right. Not Ghost, not Spectre. What are you? I am I, the bringer from beyond the gates. Yes, yes, we know all about the void. No, you do not. But you will. You will know the void inside out, and you'll know nothing else. Abigail tried to smash the mirror. She tried to break your hold on her. What happened to her? Are you a happy man, Red Ruri McGraith? Answer the question. Do you feel hollow? What would you do to once again feel her touch? To feel her finger trace lines upon your cheek? What do you want here? Do you feel guilty for leaving your family behind? Was it worth their sacrifice? Are you ashamed? Do you want to hear it from Aoife's mouth? Your sister can't be far. I... no. Abigail wanted to protect John. To the end, she wanted you gone. Abigail made her choice, but she lacked the strength to live with it. That's enough. Let's get this over with. <clears throat> Let's. Oh, get back here. I hate when they do that. Obviously, it's going to bail. I have a feeling straightening those is going to have something to do with it. I, oh. Oh, I already read that. Oh, no, maybe I didn't. I worse, I cannot escape him. I may kill him, and the fault is mine. For though he is mean and turning mean, meaner, my malice is worse. What am I becoming?
Well, I'm glad you're here, Sue. Glad you could catch us. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm on the other side. Oh, the door's open now. It's close. I feel it. Stay on your guard. I heard the devil speak, and I listened. I killed her. The house is haunted. There's something in the walls. I must leave all I can. Ethel, my love, forgive me. It's all moly. Yes, it is. I wonder if that's actually going to do anything. Ah. Some spectral ties, but where is the opening? It's on the inside. Can I? I could probably see it from here. At least I know where it is. I mean the. Let me get out yet. So sorry. Push my worry no more. I'm here. She's lying. We need to end this. I fucked him up. That was Trying good timing. Hold on, didn't she say... Um, what would happen if I straightened the paintings in the guest room and the office? This is the office, I would assume. I don't know which one the guest room is. It's probably this one, honestly. think I don't know everything seems straightened though not sure of anything else oh hi guys that's enough Abigail step away from him what will you do banish <clears throat> me banish poor sweet innocent Abigail send us both into the darkness you know well enough, Antea, my child. There is no ascent for Abigail now. There's no escape from the likes of me. Unless I grant it. I offer you a trade. A bargain. Abigail's ghost for John. Give John his due, and Abigail is free. That's a shame. I can't blame him. I have to do that. I have to banish Abigail. You always got to do the dead. Abigail, if there is still a part of you in there, I'm sorry. There is sacrifice in love, 
but love should not be all sacrifice. You're in an awful situation. We'll put an end to it. Please. No. Don't send me down. Hell awaits me there. A terrible banquet in which I am the meal. That's enough. We are not banishing Abigail today, but the demon that has taken her. There's a gamble. John! John! Please, help me. I'd help Abigail in a heartbeat, but you are not really her. Red, put an end to this circus. Go back to the void, wherever you are, and to your masters, whatever they may be. I'll take my prize to the great below, and there I shall feast. You are invited to the banquet, all of you. Blood. Especially you and the Eduarte. She knows about you. She knows all about you. And she's waiting. I banish you! It's over, John. The entity haunts you no longer. I had such terrible dreams. Was it the devil? It was an evil spirit. A bad one. Ah, I see. It were a succubus <laughs> wearing my wife's face. Thank you, Banisher. I need to... I need to pack up and go. Please, Banisher, leave me be. All right, well, we're done here. What's up, Renee? How's it going? Sounds good. All right, this whole... A hundred whole... years from now, that mirror will still be cursed. Unless we destroy it. Where should we start? Maybe a witch could help. Oh, I'm not going all the way back for that. So this area is all finished, so I don't know where the mission is going. Oh, shit. Damn it. So I have enough time. So I got to do two more in today's stream, two more side missions, and then finish off that main. Um, my world completion is, like, very minor, isn't it? What the hell? Oh, I was super zoomed. Is that the only one that's there? Oh, there's a bunch here. I just need two more, right? And this one's three. I can do the ones in town. Just go boom, boom. This is the woods, right? So. Saints and sinners. I thought I did that one already. Maybe not. Oh, that's an underground location. How do we get there? Where's our nearest campfire? There's one right over. Actually, let's just go here. Yeah, there's quite a lot to it there, Fox, for sure. Oh, I think. Oh, it's because this mission popped. That's why. I need to stop at some point. I haven't been here. I, I haven't been to a I... table in like 30 years or a, a place to rest. I have a lot of upgrades to get. Hey, so how's it going? I'm just going to get this. All right, got some evolution. Actually, I probably have, yeah, I have four. That's because each mission you complete gives her another one of these. So uh, I have all these that are kind of like blocking the path. I got to look at what I want because if I only have two, 
I might want one of these. Parrying resource 10. I never do that. Being an enemy with a rifle increases the damage of the next rifle shot by 50%. See, that's actually really good. So let's see. Leap triggers an area effect dealing spectral damage. Spirit damage. No, we'll do that. And then we'll do this. Because the next rifle shot increases by 50%. That's pretty sweet. I can do another one of these if I want. Switching down to increases the damage of the next manifestation by 20. Outburst cooldown is reduced by 10%. Okay. Damage dealt by Antea is increased by... No. Damage taken is reduced by 5% for each manifestation and cooldown. So, depending how many manifestations are in cooldown, you could have, like, way damage, like, damage reduction. Body shots are... Weak spot hits damage. The rifle is increased by 50. But body shots damage. Okay, what's this one? Pairing reduces the next... Eh. Let's go over here, then. Defeating an enemy with charged heavy attack refills banished by 15. Hitting an enemy with the rifle increases the damage of the next heavy attack by 30%. That seems pretty good. Oh, these are both. None of these require them. I still have three of these to spend. This snare gains one more projectile. Also, you can freeze a couple of them. Defeating an enemy with Antea restores 5% health. That's kind of rubbish. I'd rather have something like that. Hold on. When fusion and spirit points are fully restored. That's kind of nice, actually. Uh, damage by Antea is increased by 15% for each manifestation in cooldown. They're both good, actually. But that gives you more time with her, so it's kind of like... Damage by Antea is increased by 15%. So it's all about timing, so it's kind of like... I mean, you can always switch them on the fly. When the manifestation reduces the next damage by 90. Reduces cooldowns by 1%. One sec That's actually fucking amazing. Uh, damage taken is reduced by 15, but man no, increase. No. Banishing enemies fills the fusion gauge by 25. That's probably good. Cop that. Now we just have one more to spend. I gotta choose wisely. Uh, damn, nope. None of those trade offs. Rifle shots deal area effect physical damage. That could be really good. Honestly. I might go with that. Let's see what else we can choose from. Triggers in a. Banishing does a trigger as well. So both of those do that. Damage. Okay, so all that's been increased. Uh, banishing increased the damage of the next manifestation by 70. So depending which one you do. Uh, weak spot hits with a rifle trigger or punch attack. Okay, what about over here? Hitting enemy with the rifle increased the damage of the next heavy attack. Alright, we looked at these, didn't we? I honestly think I might go with rifle shots giving the extra effect. Alright, that's going to help it immensely. We, I'm surprised we don't have any upgrades. Like, I can't believe we don't have what we need for this. We still need the nest silt. But you have to... See, so we have enough of everything else. Same thing with this one. Scourge accretion, nest silt required. They all require nest silt. So we, in order to do this, we actually need five nest silts to fully upgrade this guard. But we still don't have it equipped. So I'm not going to bother upgrading it. Same with all these. They're not, equi they're not upgrades. So it's like... Oh, shit. If we go... What's that other rifle? Theodore's Shadow. But we can't even upgrade it anyway. Because we need nest silts. Everything needs nest silts. We haven't seen that in a while, so... Okay, let's fast travel. We're going... Oh. We are going... Where was it again? Here. Oh, we'll just go here. And we'll do these two here, and then we'll dip. Since they're all close, this is the woods. We haven't been over to the woods in a while. I feel like the woods missions are going to be a little bit easier. Yeah, but we unlocked this Saints and Sinners mission a long time ago. Oh, wait. This isn't the woods. This is the... Oh, I didn't realize where we were. A house burned down. Oh, we had to leave and come back. Interesting. Sorry, this is the town. I thought this was... What do they call this again? This is the Highlands? Or not the Highlands, that's wrong. Uh, yeah, the Harrows. Sorry, this is the Harrows. I thought we were back in the Dark Woods, but we weren't. Mount Pleasant's finished, yeah. You find yourself burning the right earth. Chances are we're going to finish where we came in. But it's cool how when you leave, things change and, like, they adjust, you know? Hello. Be thy name, Marcy. Our beloved angel, heaven sent. 
I'm busy. What do you want? Apologies for the interruption, sir. What do you want, McRae? What happened to your hands, you? An angel came down from heaven and gave me the mark of the Lord Jesus. It, we may talk about his good word, if you wish to hear it. Stigmata? That's surprisingly Catholic. I'll assume you did not mean that slander, but be warned, I'll not take it again. Ooh. Tell me about this angel. How did you meet? The angel is my sister, and she bears the mark of the Lord. Marcy wandered in the wilderness for many days and nights, and then one day she returned to lead her people to salvation. He's haunted by a ghost, but thinks she's an angel. I hope you're taking note, Red McRae. Speaking from personal experience, she's likely not an angel. She's probably a ghost. Oh, thou of little faith. I have not yet met God, but I do not question his existence. Perhaps I should envy her certainty. If you are blessed enough to meet my sister, then you'll change your mind. I'd like that. Where can I find her? Near the old mill, hidden at the end of Long Beach, is a cave. Our sacred place. She will be there. They never could find her body. But she is still there. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. Alright, we have to go back to the mill. We've been there before, so we should be able to fast travel. I think our move to New Eden was a good thing. In Boston, Marcy was not appreciated. She was even rejected. These people don't understand anything. Here, a new life awaits us, and the people of this small town seem more godly than our former neighbors. I am sure that Marcy will be listened to. Our first months in New Eden went well. Marcy integrated rather well. People speak to her, and even if they are sometimes a little confused by her words, they do not judge her, and they seem to believe her when she speaks about her visions. That's because these people are true Puritans, true subjects of God. Today, Marcy refused to go out, and she hardly spoke to me, locked in her thoughts. I think her Lord is communicating with her. Sometimes she reminds me of our mother, even if she did not have divine visions. The same brightness shone in her eyes. The same brightness of holiness. Sometimes I am a little disappointed that I did not inherit our mother's wisdom, but in the end, it's better this way. I may not be God's direct inter interlocate interlocutor, but I am the protector of his gut mouthpiece. Father and mother would be proud to see us. Marcy discusses with our companions, and my reputation grows day by day. I am becoming a respectable man in our community. I miss our parents sometimes, and I wish they hadn't left so young. I wish I hadn't had to take care of Marcy when I was old enough to get married. But that was my destiny, and today I understand it. Because today, Marcy and I form a divine duo. The word of God and its interpreter. And when we die, we will be at the right hand of the Lord, of our Lord. Proud of what we have accomplished during our time on earth. God, it's such a drivel, isn't it? It's just, ugh, I hate reading about religious shit. It's just... Blah, 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 blah. No one cares. But that's the way things were. That's the way things are. It's one thing that really hasn't changed much is religion. Even with modern science. Like, back then, I get it. Like, you had, you know, you could believe in more, um... I can understand the you know, to believe, a higher power like this because there was not, not much else to, to mind. really know about. Or nothing else was explained because science wasn't there. Oh, wait. Where's my... I thought... Am I not allowed to go in here to fast travel? Oh, no, wait. Where's, where's the goddamn campfire, bro? I might have to go to my own... Because I'm not walking to the mill. I'm going to fast travel there. This is my house, so I should be able to fast travel this one. Right, where are we off to? This one? The mill? Okay. Nice and easy. Alright, go to the beach. Woo. And we still have 300 meters to walk, so I don't know how much faster it was, really. 
Oh, that we can clear now, by the way. See that, like, thing on the map? Siblings. Feeling guilty about Naomi Day and Temi. On principle, I refuse to feel guilty. Yes, I feel guilty. I should have made the journey. I should have gone to see them. The time flies. And oh, how it has flown. I can manifest now. I wonder where that, uh, the Sacred Woods was then. I thought it was down south, but... Or the Dark Woods, rather, not Sacred Woods. Doesn't this ocean air just make you want to sail the open seas? I've always wondered where your love of boats came from. I definitely was a pirate in a previous life. Big damage there. Holy shit, she's kicking ass now. Oh, that was a waste, bro. Going for a meat suit. Watch out. Inspect your position. Get lost, won't you? Oh. Cave entrance. Whose clothes are these? The veil here is as thin as in the cave where you found me. Something's written here. I believe it's from Marcy. There's definitely gonna be a... Uh... Oh, why did it target that one? I'll pray for your mercy. I don't know if these are comforting or terrifying. I go with creepy. Arise into thy resting place. <laughs> we don't have this. Sorry. Now may my God let I beseech thee thine eyes be open, and let thine ears be attent unto the prayer that is made in this place. Now therefore arise, O Lord God, into thy resting place thou. Oh, fuck, who cares? What am I saying this for? It's just stupid shit. No one cares. All right, mother was right. The ways of our Lord are inscrutable. Why did he choose me and for what purpose? I, am I supposed to spread his word? Am I supposed to keep quiet? Who can I talk to about these visions? Why isn't it clear? I pray that he will speak to me, but it never happens. Maybe I should wait a little longer. Maybe Hugh can enlighten me. Maybe I should tell him. I was right to tell Hugh about my visions. He maintains that these are the words of our Lord. I have to tell him what I see every time it happens. Then he can help me decipher them. Then he will, we will know why our Lord chose to speak to me and how to spread his word. I feel a warmth in my heart, even though the voices in my head never shut up. I know now who they belong to. The angels speak to me, and our Lord is showing me things. I am connected to him. I have been chosen. My visions are always relatively similar. It's pretty fuzzy, and it's more of a feeling. 
But last night was different. I could make sure make out a shape, a winged fe figure. It was an angel, I'm sure. It was hovering over New Eden. Everything was dark, but the angel was surrounded by a halo of light. It reached out to me. I grabbed it. And suddenly everything lit up, and I had a sense of calm. The curse was gone. I think that means I am the key. I can save New Eden. You can't. I've brought stew. Tis your favorite. Bread and water, too. Oh, it smells so very good. Thank you. I'm sad to disappoint, but I am fasting. As did our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Truly, you and he walk the same path. I'm so very proud of you. You batch not let his sister starve herself. He's convinced that she was chosen by God. Does she believe it too? Let's look for Marcy. She kind of gone far. I'm not gonna read that. It's just garbage. Something's nearby. Where is it? Beyond the grape below. According to the second chapter of Caraco. Car Carcassoa, beyond the external desert run the icy waters of Huber, which can be crossed only if Saluli, the man standing on the devouring river, accepts you on his boat. Some warlocks, like Musaeus of Athens, when studying the roots of the Greek myths, believe that the river itself is ma made of the pain of dead uh, thrown away by the boatman. Then beyond the river stands Irkala, the great citadel with its seven gates guarding the vast plains and plateaus where reside the dead around the glorious palace ruled by the dreadful queen Ereshkigal and her loving husband Nergal. Uh, there await also the crouching Namtaru and the An Anunnaki lords, the 300 potent pot potentates and the countless Galu. Finally, at the center of the palace stands an empty throne. Whoever unlucky enough to sit on it may ri raise its his head to watch the primordial stars telling the names of the true gods who shaped the world and still rule upon everything. There hides all the magic in the universe. There burns the primal truth. There may ascend those who have been accepted by the celestial court. Beyond the great below. Unreachable for the most. Disdained by the pursuers like myself. ER. I'll always be with you. This is old. They must predate the bachelors. Early settlers? Natives? Still breathing, or is this a different guy? Die, you bastard. Her damage is way better than than Red's at this point. I mean, it's all relative, but like her base damage seems to be more effective. Where's the third one? I think I see it. Damn, this is in a bad spot, isn't it? Let me see if I can go the other way. No, I can't. There's no point in going back. So I gotta try and find a way of sniping that one. This one's very tough to reach. So yeah, one, two, and then three on the other side, I think. I wonder if I can shoot it through here. No, see, it's being blocked. Maybe there's only a couple. How, how many? No, I count three, bro. Let's try it, I guess. We'll try it.
Yeah, there's one more. Hmm, this one's actually kind of complicated. I, I don't see another way. I'll have to go back. That's annoying. But now that that's gone, I think I can shoot it from up here. I don't really know how you do that, though. It doesn't It doesn't look like you can access it from there. The only thing I think I could see is maybe if I... Um... Oh, it's up here, hey? Okay, well, that's... Can I actually hit this from here? I think it's just a time thing. Like, for example, watch. I cross. I hit it from here, immediately cross across. That's about all you can do. So if you sw as soon as you switch back, that's when it ends. So you might you have to like immediately open fire. I missed that one for some reason, somehow. Yeah, see, it cheese me. This is going to be a hard one. I don't know how I'm supposed to hit that in time. I really don't. Unless I can somehow go brap brap. Wait, can I do this maybe? I don't have a shot. Did I miss it? Did I miss it for real? Oh, I just have to come over here. God damn it. I keep wasting time. This one's being overthought. There it is. Finally. Made that one harder than it needed to be. Oh, that is what I need to do just over here. Let's crawl through here. This could be the way out. These guys are getting insane, like, amounts of health at this point. Well, I'm like, a, they, they keep, they're like six levels ahead of me now. It's like they keep scaling the enemies six levels above. Like, the toughest, like, the big boss, they're like six levels. Because I'm a level 19, so it makes me, I, I don't really know what the top level would be then for this. It doesn't seem to matter, because it's always just going to change it, depending on... Depending on what you do, or depending on your level, anyway. It's got to be a point where we just start dominating. <clears throat> You're wasting your time on this one. That was just one big old hit. That was dope. The 
The Proctors are back from their trip to Providence. Curiously, Anton only exchanged a few words with me. He looked serious or suspicious, I couldn't say. He's usually more talkative. Something must have happened on their trip. Last night, Ethel and Anton visited me without, about a strange book, the Agrippa. They said it. they received it from a merchant who had it himself from a receiver. According to them, the book contains dark secrets about immortality. They wanted me to read it too, as I'm more experienced. I finished reading the book. It contains many forbidden knowledge. Few chapters speak of resurrection, even less so of immortality. But the rituals are rigorously depicted. Unless I am mistaken, they could be workable after a few months of training. I shared my research with Anton and his wife, and we were able to perform a minor ritual to summon a spirit. It was a great success. Old Richard, who died many years ago, come back as a ghost for a few minutes. Ethel seems to have a real gift for this kind of occult stuff. Anton made us promise not to tell anyone for the moment. Is there a cave in New Eden that doesn't have occultists in it? They were looking for the devil. Marcy was looking for God. And now an angel has taken up residence. Anton and I continue to learn minor rituals. It's fascinating to understand how the spirit world works. As for Ethel, she started to study more com complicated rituals depicted at the end of the book we found. Ethel believes we need more people for her ritual, and Anton suggests we tell our neighbors about the book. To avoid any condemnation, we decided to initiate Jack and Appleton. Uh, they could easily in convert their family if they listened to us. Anton gathered everyone in the barn to make a speech to our new members. I must admit he knows how to be eloquent when he needs to be. For now, there are seven of us fittingly enough to perform any major ritual. Oh, the cultists. What's that over there? Where's he getting all this rope from? I never really questioned it. Red. He just pulls rope oh. out of his ass. I found something. Rusty knife, it's blade stained with Marcy's blood. Well, there it is. There's the item that keeps her here. A bloody knife in a dingy cave. Always a pleasure. It has something to tell us. Toki me indrasta, skal nam phalas. Oh Lord, please help me. I'm scared. I can't do this alone. Did you kill herself? Cut it down. Cut it down. Cut it down. Deep, deep. Well do Take I know it. I, I, I. Take my hands. It's your duty. Take my hands and it's mark them so it. your flock may see. So they will no longer doubt you. Do it, Marcus. Do it, my darling. Grant me the strength to do my duty. Your blood is the blood of everlasting. I will speak your sainted words. They will listen and believe. Damn. She cut herself. Where did the whispers come from? Perhaps she was under the influence of a malignant spirit, like the rumbles. There's a trail of blood. Let's follow it. Ever since the cracks in the walls have appeared, spirits are restless. Our rituals are becoming more and more unstable. The cave is no longer safe, and we have no other place to hide. I fear another tragedy will occur lest we decide to leave this place and never come back. Anton finally made the decision to stop our rituals until we find a safer hiding place. In the meantime, Ethel has asked me to continue the study of the Agrippa. Anton made an unexpected discovery. While he was working in the mill, the ground collapsed from under his feet. He fell into a small cavity that seems to lead to a larger cave infused with esoteric forces. Is this fate or chance? I can never decide. My research has taken a new unexpected turn. We are getting closer to our goal. Is this her? Poor thing. How long has she been lying here, forgotten? And how has she gone unnoticed? And then how has Homeboy Perhaps not come and looked? Perhaps already blocked. I can feel her presence. You have her tie. Summon her. Okay, just give me a minute. Let me just grab some stuff. Read this note before we talk to her. Appleton has discovered a strange cave during his unusual morning of fishing. In his own words, he believes he saw shadows dancing on the walls. He claimed the strange atmosphere of the place almost suffocated him. He decided with Anton and Ethel to go explore it. 
This cave is a gift. Ethel immediately felt, oh, typo there, uh, felt the potential of this place. It's as if the spirit world and ours were colliding. Anton has decided we should stay here to give our masses and to give our masses and continue our research on immortality. Our installation is complete, and we are able to give our first mass in this sacred place. To celebrate our discovery, we performed an important occult ritual. Ethel managed to summon a creature, but after a few minutes, a demon got out of control and attacked Appleton. Anton and I eventually chased the demon away, but Appleton is badly injured. For the first time, one of our experiments has failed. Anton blames me for this failure. He should just find someone else to help him. I noticed that our last ritual left strange cracks on the walls of the cave. If you approach it, you can hear cries of pain. I think it's a gateway to hell. We may have gone too far. You think? Must summon you. Our Father who art in heaven. What the hell? I thank you for your blessing. And then she's just leaning into this whole thing. Hi. Good day to you, Miss Bachelor. My child, you may call me Marcy, for I am the angel Marcy. Sent to guide and protect. That's blasphemous, no? Are you an angel too? I see your man with you. Were you sent to guide and protect him? To be his light in the darkness? He should be so lucky. I'm Antea Duarte, and I'm no angel. This is Red Grave. We're banishers. I see sadness in you, Antea Duarte. Sadness and goodwill and not a shred of evil. Nice of you to say, but I have my moments. You should listen to me when I say nice things about you. Because they're true. God is never wrong. You see, God speaks to me. In visions, he reveals his light. What would you ask him? What would you ask the Lord? Ask, and I will answer. Tell me more about these visions. What do you see in them? He bade me follow his path. To suffer for those I love. As his son did before me. I agreed, of course. Do you see God? Not exactly. I see a white light to die and die again. Forgiving the undying demon forged to eat her. I see them locked forever after in a dance that never ends. My visions are warnings. New Eden is sinking. What is this place? It's a blessing, isn't it? Our Lord guided you here. Just as he did for me. Now do we know who is God? Don't you feel it? His warmth. His goodness, his light, it's him. Why, who else could it be? God called me to this blessed place that he, through me, may redeem it. This, my child, is what it means to be an angel. I notice you have the mark of the Lord. Your stigmata. How did you get them? He gave them to me. He came to me, took my hands in his, bathed me in his divine light, and granted me his blessing. What happened to you, Marcy? What happened? I opened my heart and let in the light. And do you know, it had always been there. You starved yourself. You refused your brother's food. Is that what killed you? God gave me a duty. I should sacrifice my body, as did his son, that my people may have forgiveness. I must carry the light to unbelievers, so that with it in their hearts, they may be saved by the light of the Lord. You sacrificed your body. For the salvation of others. 
I'm sorry. I don't know how that works. Our people are plagued by evil. Darkness grips them. I've noticed. In the turmoil of my dreams, I'd watch them writhe and burn in endless flaming turmoil. I knew not what it meant, but you kindly helped me understand. In revealing to me the horror lurking in the shadows, God was showing me the goodness waiting in the light. My suffering lights the way to salvation. We're gonna have to talk to Hugh about this, aren't we? We must leave you. God goes with you, my child. Whether you know it or not. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Wait. Whatever. I feel something. Someone. My brother. I'm here. Hugh. Hey, Cavian. Hey, Smoke. What's up, guys? My brother. It would be funny if it landed on him. <laughs> Oops. Where'd she go? This way? Mr. McCray. Can you see her now? Is she not magnificent? Is she not a blessing from the Lord High God himself? No, she's fucking dead, bro. Your negligence killed what her. What are you doing here? I'll justify neither my comings nor my goings. You might have to, school teacher. I know you followed me. No need to deny it, just tell me why. I would go to the cave, but the devil's agents had blocked the way. I hoped the Banisher would lift their spells. Though I confess I feared you'd make it worse. Your own sister starved. How could you allow it? Would you have me oppose the will of the Lord my God? No. Never. I know it pained him to see me suffer. But my suffering was the path to my sainthood. Marcy had visions. She heard voices. Did you know this? Of course I knew. They scared her. God sent a trial to test me. But he also sent me a guide. My brother, sir. Did you not talk to Reverend Davenport? Or Haskell, maybe? Why would I do such a thing when the Bible is clear? In visions, God reveals himself to the chosen few. My sister is one of them. I'd known all my life that Marcy was special. Here was the Lord's own proof. You seem very sure of yourself, sir. But I suspect you've gotten things wrong. No. You do not understand. Now could you? But this is my destiny. My brother helped me to fulfill it. My sister was chosen by God. A banisher could not understand. A heretic could never understand. Let's get this over with. I mean, I don't want to blame him, obviously. But we got to move her on. We're going to keep ascending. Marcy Bachelor, dearest angel. Your holy work is done. God has forgiven your people. He did? They are saved in his eyes and his heart? Not yet, but they will. You see, the Lord heard your prayers and sent us to lift the curse. Isn't that good news? Good news indeed. The best news. Oh Lord, for your blessing, it is right to give you thanks and also praise. And you, sister. I thank you, too. You're welcome. Off you go. Salvation! Salvation and an end to suffering. Tis done, my brother. You were right. I'll see you soon. 
I'll wait for you at his right hand. You have been here. I'm not trying to lean into it, but... That one's done. What have you done? You've doomed us. You've damned us all. Oh, shut up. You're an ass. I feel something close. All right, now we got to get to a fast trial. We got one more side mission to do. And then we can finish up this main that we've been kind of like partially started, partially, you know, done something for. For I don't know how long at this point. All right. Memory. I have no idea. I think our Your best sisters. Bit. Aoife, mostly. If I'd had a big brother, I'd have liked him to have been like you. I haven't. I haven't visited her grave in a very long time. Perhaps once this is over, it shall be time. Sounds like a good place to stop. Take stock. Yeah, I really don't know the fastest way out of here. I've got to find a fast travel, though, because this is... I'm surprised there is nothing there. I mean, there probably is, but... All to the invisible. Oh, there you go. There's something there. Go to the bolt hold. I still have this exorcism task. It's not It's not a side mission. It's a task. I think they consider those. So it's like, it's like you just gather something and you do it. I don't know what you get out of it. I haven't done one of these yet, but they have been appearing. This would do nicely if I wanted to put my legs up. And he's all about the boat, so this will suit him nicely as well, yeah. Like he said. So we're gonna go back to that uh, that city we were at, or that town rather. And um, that's where we will. We got an evolution, right? One extra for her. What we think. Fourth punch attack increases the damage to the next man. Oh, that's pretty good. Leap damage inc increased by 150. Leap. Oh, I don't. I don't like trade offs. The enemy with anti resource five uh, percent. I'm gonna go with the fourth punch. Damage the next manifestation by 40 percent. I haven't picked up like, anything that's going to get me any money. I mean, this one's kind of close. I mean, I don't have the fast travel. I, I'd have to basically spawn here and walk this way. I mean, it's all within range. But I'm going to do this one anyway. Hopefully we can get this last one finished. I knew it would take a while. I knew there was no way in hell I was going to be able to finish all 12 of the side missions. Six is enough. But, well, I mean, I was hoping to be able to finish this game today. Again, if I ignored the side missions, I would have been able to. But there's just no time. I mean, I want to do the side missions to get the best ending. I put in all this time with it, you know. Might as well. Um, but that just means I have to spend another stream on this game. And honestly, normally I'd be like, oh, no problem. We got, you know, we're, you know, we're spacing things out. But unfortunately, there's a lot of games uh, coming out in the next little while. And I currently have a lot of games on the on the go. So, so things are going to have to get back burned, unfortunately. No way around it. Hey, John, how's it going? Mr. Law. The 
everything all right there, friend? I've seen a ghost. Take your time. Now, let me know how I can help you. I'll be all right, Mr. McGrath. Don't waste your time worrying. This road is dangerous and you're shaking like a leaf in autumn. What are you doing out here? Mistress Phoebe Walcott had an urgent delivery and I set out to make it. I should have known better and stayed in the store. I am often stricken with anxious deliriums. But Phoebe is elsewhere, so I must take the road. That is how you find me here, an old fool all shook up. These anxious deliriums and fits of worry, are they new? No, sir. They are not new. I've had them a very long time. Long before the curse, before I came to New Eden, and before I came to work for Mistress Walcott. What frightened you so? It was not a ghost, Banisher. Very well. So what did scare you? A liquor bottle appeared among my affairs, as if out of nowhere. And it is not the first time. It's not mine, for I do not drink. It's not Mistress Walcott's, because she would not part with it. I didn't pack it. So why is it there? Because a ghost put it there. Not the first time, you say? No. The bottles have appeared in my room, above Phoebe's store. More recently, in her house across the way. Would you like me to walk you back? Uh, no. My bride would be hurt. Don't wait for me. I'll catch my breath here, and make my own way home. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. All right. A few bottles of liquor turn up, and the man shakes like a leaf. The bottle has to be the trigger. Buried wounds and all that. Hey, Michael. Um, I mean, I've spent most of the stream doing side missions, to be honest. I've only done one main mission, and I'll finish off the stream by doing the other one. Um, yeah, there's only four chapters left to go. Phoebe Walcott's store and Three. Her house across the yard. Three. Sorry. Something has me. Wards. It's one in the corner. Why did Bennett Law not kill me instead of you, my love? Why did I not find the strength to kill them then? Kill him then. I tried, my love. I tried so hard, but his men pinned me to the ground. I still can hear his drunken voice above the pain and rage after I hit him in the face. An eye for an eye, he claimed, so they took mine. Why was I not with you when he strangled you? I could smell the liquor on his breath, on your hair, on my face when he spat on me. We knew Bennett Law was a bad master. I should have found a way to, to pay our freedom back before it was too late. To save us from his nightmare and of indentured servitude. I have been a coward, and now I must pay that by sur surviving you, my, my dear best, and not being able to punish your murderer. I'm a coward for not stopping poor Phoebe from drinking. For all my sins, I shall expiate. Ex ex Ishmael and his wife were indentured servants, and she died because of a drunkard. Liquor reminds him of his wife's death. No wonder he feels threatened by these bottles suddenly appearing. Oh, there you go. So our mysterious ghost also took time to hide that key. Must be important. Covenant Beach. What's that? The key was hidden recently, but before Ishmael placed a ghost ward in his lodgings. I don't like sand. It gets everywhere. 
<laughs> Is that an Anakin Skywalker reference? It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. Did he play for fun or for money? Ishmael claims he's not haunted, but he takes steps to protect himself from ghosts. I think we're done here. Let's investigate Phoebe's house. I love how every player character just... just loots wherever, like it's their right. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm gonna take his wares. And no one bats an eye. Like, the, the player character, like us, we don't bat an eye. We're just like, sure, no problem. Makes sense. That's literally what it's there for, though. So that's a, that's the difference. Mistress Walcott, there have been complaints. Do not come to the meeting house drunk again, or you shall spend a day in the pillory as soon as we build one. Phoebe seems a little too cheerful for the governor's liking. What are these? Ch oh, chess score. They've been playing for years. I'm keeping the score. Either Ishmael's getting better, or... Maybe he's getting worse. For Constance, there's nothing even there. Phoebe is a painter. This is just an easel. No paints. Unfinished work. How did you name a painting before starting it? Right. Sand. Ishmael was here too. Covenant Beach? Wait for my, wait for me, sweetie. Mel will be there soon. Wait for me, sweetie. And la, 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 la. Over and over and over again. Title deed. Parcel of land Covenant Beach. This is to certify that Phoebe Walcott, resident of New Eden, is registered as the proprietor of the land comp comprised in the above mentioned title, including a warehouse, constructible beach, a dock, and the river mouth for the consideration of 80 pounds. That's it. The sanction is signed in the presence of those witnesses. Phoebe Walcott's done well for herself. I mean, 80 pounds back then would have been a fortune. Covenant Beach? The key we found must open that warehouse. Yes. If there's more to find, it isn't here. Let's see if Ishmael is back on his feet. We're done here? To hell with you! Ishmael's right. Bottles do keep appearing out of nowhere. Holy hell, look at these bottles. Was that you I heard screaming just now? I... I had something of a fright. An old fool's mind playing tricks on him. And that is all. I'm guessing the bottles moved. Seemingly by themselves, I'm right, aren't I? They can't have done. Bottles don't move by themselves. I must be going mad. Yes, that is it. I'm going mad. You're not mad. A ghost haunts this door. But I... Which? Oh, no. <laughs> Take a breath. I don't know whose ghost it is. And I don't know why they're here, but I will find out. I feel like I know. It's probably Phoebe. You installed a ghost ward in your room. Were you expecting a ghost? No, of course not. I wish to. I wish to ward off evil. The governor being no longer in authority, the Harrows is weak. I thought a ghost ward wise. Perhaps. But take my advice. Keep it hidden from the mob. What can you tell me about Covenant Beach? Phoebe had her warehouse there. Once it was the center of her world. It's derelict now. But you've been there of late, haven't you? I found sand from the beach in your lodgings. Why did you go to the warehouse? And why would the ghost hide the key to it? I'm sure your questions make sense to you. But you'll not find the answers stuck to my boots. If you need a reason for a haunting here, look to the drunken owner. Look to Mistress Walcott. When or how did the phenomenon begin? I can't say for sure. Bottles have always disappeared from time to time. But that was Phoebe being Phoebe. The bottles falling from the shelves is one thing. But 
them appearing out of nowhere, right by me. That is no accident. The ghost is offering you a drink? You thought of accepting? That is not funny, sir. Liquor brings out the worst in human nature. Mistress Walcott's conduct is outrageous, but she only hurts herself. And, on occasion, my feelings. If her behavior revolts him so, why does he not leave? What can you tell me about Mistress Walcott? Speaking as a banisher, her house is a worry. It is Phoebe who's haunted? Ah, that is... unsurprising. She took me on when no one else would, and she gave me friendship, and I am grateful for both, but... she is a sinner. And also a pain in the behind. <laughs> Where might I find her? I do not know. When she drinks too much, she vanishes, leaving me to run the business alone. Did she witness the mischief with the bottles? If she'd seen liquor appear out of nowhere, she'd surely have said something memorable. I think it began after she'd left. Something may have happened to Phoebe Walcott. You mind if I check the store now? I do not. And if Phoebe minds, she'll not hesitate to tell you herself. Right. Best put these bottles away. Again. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. The ghost communicates through the thing Ishmael hates most. Liquor. That's harassment. The ghost knows what it's doing. Now, where are you having me go? Oh, this actual store, sorry. All these damn bottles just popping out, it's hilarious. Words from the past linger here. Ishmael said he tidied up. So who's made the mess? Two... Okay. Bunch of people. There's been a landslip at Covenant Beach and the dock there is destroyed. It shall surprise you to learn the trade is interrupted. Yours and all that. Yours and all that? So, Interesting. Covenant Beach warehouse was abandoned. Apex. Then why would a ghost hide the key? Miss Walcott, did Mistress Barrow pay for her candles? What? Oh, I traded them candles for ale. This is no way to run a business. Don't be mad, Ishmael. Come, have a drink. You never change, Mistress Walcott, and it shall be the death of you. I'm afraid that echo proves that Phoebe Walcott is up. Wait, how is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, wait, have I miscounted? Which ones did I do today? None of these here. One. Two. Oh, you know what? No. Yeah, three. Four. Um. Five. And this would be six. So did I miscount? Maybe there were 13. I never even realized that. There might be actually an extra one that I didn't. Somehow my math was off, I think. Hmm, nice abacus. The ghost of Phoebe Walcott haunts her own house. I wonder what she kept in her warehouse. That's fine. We'll still save the uh, the other ones for the next stream. It's kind of irrelevant anyway. Who cares? Hey, 
Inventory, bills. They smell around the business. What's your thinking on the case? Phoebe was hiding something in her warehouse. To protect her secret, a ghost hid the key. Maybe she hated the business so much that in the end she ran away. I'm ready to shoot the infested roots after you bruise the heart. Okay, where's the... Okay, let's see where these roots go. Looks like there's just two of them. One up there. And it's not going to be insanely far away. There it is. Is there another one? No, I don't just find some room garden. That was fortunate. Trust me, you don't want a garden. Man, where is this damn thing? I mean, they said it was down by the river mouth. That specter's looking for a body. Shot, dumbass. Watch out. Spectre possession. What's even down here? Anything? I kind of went down here. Just I know it's not where I go, but... 
Stick to the script. Otherwise, you'll be there's so much to explore in the in these in this map. I just wish I had a bit more damage out of this. Oh, come on. Get back up. No way am I getting hit by this guy. Take that to your face. You feel that? It's close. Back here. This isn't over yet. Look out! Jesus Christ. God damn. If this is Phoebe Walcott's warehouse, it's bigger than I'd imagined. She had quite the business. Little remains. Whose body was this? Nice property. Dear Governor Haskell, I'm writing this letter to, of protest because I feel that we have been treated very disrespectfully in your little town of New Eden. We came to you because I was planning to establish a new center of trade. The location seemed ideal. New town, hopeful inhabitants, the sea, the forest, hunters, fishermen, craftsmen. I had made contact with Mistress Walcott, who seemed to be an honorable lady. How disappointed we were. She brings disgrace upon your time, and you should run her out for run her out of it. There was dog shit in the food we bought, sir. Dog shit. We shall never trade New Eden again. You Bennett Law. Ishmael's master and the man who killed his wife. Law docked here. Ishmael must have been devastated. <laughs> I bet it was Phoebe who put dog shit in his food. Okay, I gotta move this. No. What's all this? Ship's arrival times with various things. This would be a perfect smuggler's hideout. You think it could be? At this point in the case, anyone and anything is suspicious. Right, let's go find some answers. Oh, stinks in here. Someone had a party here. That's sad. Phoebe must have drunk herself sick. If I was drinking like that, I'd hide away too. Yeah, 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 okay. 
Okay, it's down low there, but there's a bunch of... The place to stand, though. I'm gonna have to go back. One. Two. I don't have access to the third one. I don't see it anyway. You aim for the heart. I'll destroy the roots. Yeah, I can't see it, bro. So we're kind of cockadoodle dude. But there's got a place for there's got to be a place for me to stand. There's always a place to see. There's a fog down there, so he can't even go down there unless we clear it out. I don't even see a way down yet. Yes, yeah, it's around the back. So it's like, in order to get to that side, I have to like somehow. Where's the? Is there a drop point that I can go down? You think I'd be able to drop down one of these? But let's look around. Here? Nope. Damn, everywhere's blocked away. Bro, I can't even go down. Where the fuck do I go then? Because I'm not going to be able to see. Oh, wait, you know what? I just realized something. It'll levitate up, doesn't it? It levitates up. I forgot about that. It doesn't remain hidden, so I can probably shoot it from here. Oh, it's cheesing. Nope, I don't have a way of getting that because I can't see it. So I gotta somehow find a way to get down there, but I really don't see a way. I've tried all angles. The thing, oh wait, what about this? Oh, I see it. I mean, I see, I see that. I don't see a counterbalance though. Where's the counterbalance? Is there something we can utilize? Ugh, God, this is annoying. I hate getting stumped by stupid shit like this. Can't jump down. I legit see no way down there. I feel like the only way that's down there is this way. The thing that looks like it's blocking it is this, but I can't get over there because I I, I have to get <laughs> I have to get downstairs, and I can't get I can't get in on on the lower level because there's vines. Oh wait, am I blind again? Are you shitting me? I thought. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Sorry guys, I didn't see that one. That's irritating. Um, can I hop this? I'll have to move this. Blind in this stuff. Yeah, Can't see. Wait. Of course not. Actually, we do have another stump. Because he's got to shoot it. It's got to be something to do with this first. There, maybe this will let us go to the other side. Well, it will, but... There, that'll... This, okay, so the first thing we're gonna have to do... Pigment. Tops. Yeah, I don't think she ever actually made paint. Ugh, bro, this... I... I mean, I know this is... He still can't see it because he has nothing to shoot. This is a bitch, bro. Like a proper one. Can I get down there? Because I got to get to that area over there. That's where I need to be. But I'm starting to wonder if, if I can even do it. Let's go around. Ugh, God damn it. 
That just makes this longer and longer. What's this? Oh, just some shit. Renewal of the annual warehouse rental agreement between Phoebe Walcott, owner, and Widow Ingerson, renter. Ingersoll, I mean. Uh, Widow Ingersoll will be authorized to use the warehouse to stock the goods she'll receive from Europe in exchange for an annual rent. Right, Winner Ingersoll, isn't that the one we... Who had, like, good... Uh, who was lying about her wares earlier in the stream? Do you remember that? Oh my god, bro. I'm not going to be able to shoot this. Because he can't fucking see it. Perhaps he let me take the lead here. Let me just see what happens if I do this. Yeah, see, I can't even see them. What do I do, man? I legit don't know what to do here. Once I bruise the heart, destroy the wisp within its roots. I don't see it's how it's physically possible for me to get this right now. Well, and maybe now that this is up, is it going to change something? No, it won't even let me in there. It feels like I'm just kind of in like a. There must be a way I could shoot the, the vines away. The vines are hindering me, but I can't see them. You know what I mean? Like, he, he makes it difficult to... Like, he can't shoot them. You know what I mean? Like, it's too, it's too grayed out, so I have to kind of guess. Is that all I have to do is just guess where it is? Let's see if I can make it. I think this is too far. No, 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 oh, no! <laughs> I was mashing E so much that he grabbed the lift instead of hopping over the... That's annoying as hell. Oh, my God. Fuck. All right, that's irritating. There's got to be a better place to stand, then. Yeah, that, see, that's not gonna work. I might as well replace it. I think, I think, I, I think they give me enough time. What are you doing? I wanted to reset it. Ugh! I thought switching between them reset it. Shit. Go, go, go. Do not mash right away. Stay clear. No, no, no! Oh, I got it. Just how I like Holy it. shit, what a bitch that was. Alright, good. Now we can dispel it. Finally. I felt like I was walking around with my head cut off. She wrote. All right, finally, there she is. She drank herself to death. Oh, shite. Obviously. Phoebe Walcott, no doubt. Should we take a glimpse at the past? It's got to be poisoning. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. Look at you. 
drunker than a fig merchant on his birthday. You thought you could hide from me here? I am embarrassed for you. I'm sorry. Oh, stop, stop shouting. You say you are sorry, but nothing ever changes. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Help me up. No. Uh, I can help you no uh, more. Uh, uh, help me up. Help me! <laughs> Ishmael lied that she was missing. He knew she'd come here. He ditched his friend when she needed him the most. Ishmael could have saved him. He's to blame here. Well, not really. I mean, they're both in the wrong. She Well, she had a problem, obviously, so... I guess he's the sound one. Can I even move this? Last one testament to me, Phoebe Wilcott here in New Eden. Ishmael Law gets all I own. He deserves it. That's it. Wow. Phoebe made Ishmael her heir. That document ties her to him. Finally, someone's here. You're Phoebe Walcott, is that right? I'm Red McCraith. I know who you are. So, you're not who I expected. Did Ishmael send you to take care of me? Not exactly. You're haunting him, and it's not been good for his anxiety. I see you've brought company. Good day to you, Mistress Ghost. The Vanisher is popular. Should I join the queue? Ante Eduarte, dead Vanisher. Here to figure out why you linger, and then undo the tie. Two Vanishers, all for little old me. Aren't I lucky? Tell me more about your past, Mistress Walcott, if you please. My past? Why? You're a ghost. Ghosts linger for a reason. The reason is generally to be found in the past. Trust me, we banishers do this all the time. I have no interest in the past. I'm done contemplating my pitiful existence. I spent years trying to forget, kill the pain with comfort. I filled my poor heart with heady vapors. In the end, it killed me. I see it now. My pain is mine and mine alone. I can't kill it. I must let it be. And so should you. Why are you harassing Ishmael? I'm not harassing him. He's my dearest and only friend. I'm helping him. You're haunting him. Is it because he mistreated you and left you to die? I died here because I was a hopeless drunk. And while death it was an unpleasant agony, I've had it coming for years. He yelled at you. He left you dying in your own vomit. When you didn't return, he didn't worry. He stands to inherit your entire estate. Well, yes, that's all true. And I did curse him to hell with my dying breath. But what can you do? Life's unfair and that's that. I'm no longer drunk. I don't miss it. I miss my friend. I miss Ishmael. I want to help him be happy. You sent him bottles of liquor. With what intention? He and liquor have a tragic past. As his friend, you must know this. Look, I'm doing my best. This is all very new to me. Being a ghost and so on. Being sober. I'm mostly stuck here in this bloody warehouse. 
When I try to talk to Ishmael, moving little objects is the best I can manage. I wanted to tell him that I'm here. And what says, Phoebe Walcott is here more than her bottles of liquor. You were trying to communicate. You terrified him. He's a quivering mess. I died shamefully, dead drunk, alone in the dark. But I'm thinking clearly now. I'm recovering. I can imagine no life without Ishmael. I'll take no death without him, neither. I will get better, and I'll remain by his side, just like you two. It's not gonna work. I'll call you to a meeting with Ishmael Law. You can tell him what you wish, and then we'll sort things out for good. Oh, goody! Phoebe's ghost can't see that sending Ishmael liquor harms him. She means well. Knows no better. Picking up something spectral nearby. Hey, Darren. How's it going? That is so satisfying. I wish his I wish his sword did more damage. I'm at the point where it's like kind of grindy, but I haven't really. Despite finishing all this stuff, it doesn't get me anything. Um, I don't know. I wish there were more like weapons and variety in that regard. And I still haven't had the ability to upgrade my, you know, get any of the the what do they call those again? The silts. I haven't got any of the silts for upgrades of the weapon or the items I need. A lot of things are stuck at that, and I can't remember what actually gives you those. So I don't know if it's like one of those like ones where you have to close it, you know what I mean? And you fight like a little boss, but it's not like the hard one. It's like it's like one of those like summons, but possession incoming. Piss off. Shit. It took too long on that. Still on to. I think I heard the sound of a gun. There's so many enemies, such a grind. Quicken yourself. Because they're such high rated, like. It almost feels like we're, we're kind of punished for doing it. We island case for you. Some down there. Your Majesties, it's good to see you again. 
You too, Mistress Walcott. Your Majesties. What am I doing? It's good to oh, see Ishmael. you Oh, Ishmael. You too, Mistress Walcott. Is he... Ugh, God, that's annoying. She's blocking the damn door, so I can't get in there. There seems to be a lot of betrayal with these ghosts. I mean, it makes sense why they linger. May I help you, sir? I've been to the warehouse. You were there when Phoebe died. Phoebe died? Stop, Ishmael. You know she's dead and you've known it for some time now. She was falling down drunk, you argued, you left and closed the door. She blacked out and never woke up. May the great God forgive me, for it is all my fault. And now, she wants revenge. Phoebe Walcott, I know you're there. Join us, won't you? Good day there, Ishmael. Tis you. Tis you torturing me. <laughs> you really are dead. Oh, no. No, don't cry. Don't panic. I'm so happy we can talk. To hell with me. It was my job to protect you. I failed to protect my best, and I failed you too. I am so deeply sorry. You didn't let me down. You were tired of the drinking. You told me as much. My mind's so clear now. You can only die once, you see. I'll grow stronger, and I'll protect you now. You'll run the business, and I'll help you. You deserve only the best Ishmael law. My finest and only friend. I have to ascend her. I'm not gonna blame. I mean, I can understand his frustration, but we can't do that Phoebe to anyone. Anyway, no. I know you wish the best for Ishmael. I know your intentions are good. But by staying, you'll only weaken him or scare him to death. You must go. I'd rather stay. I promise I'll be quiet. I'm a quick learner. I'm sure you would be. You're still here. I'll just do what you're doing. I'll be gone soon enough. Leave Ishmael to the rest of his life. He'll take care of himself. He'll have a better future, thanks to you. Strange that I never thought of it before. It's obvious now. The party is over. I shall go. Glad you're seeing clearly. Farewell. Go in peace. Mr. McRae, you are a fair man. I will be eternally grateful to you, sir. What of your wares, Mr. McRae? Oh, he won't. You now he won't sell anything man. to me. I All right. Well, anyways, guys, we're finally sir. able now. I know it's interesting. I somehow miscounted the amount of haunting cases I had. I thought I would have had six left, but I think there's seven left. So let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's seven left, which is interesting. I thought I had enough there, but uh, uh, no sense in doing that now. So we'll, we'll save that for the next stream. I feel like that's safe, or that's best. So uh, next what we'll do quickly is just finish up the next main mission. And I don't know exactly... Uh, well, there's only three missions left. I've started this one already. Um, like this one I've started, so I'm just continuing it, and then there's only two more, so there's not many. 
But because of how, I, like like the the haunting cases change the end of the game, we want to complete them all. So that's what's really taking me a lot of time. I would have been done the game by now for sure. But that's kind of where we're sitting. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to our um, um, what do you call it? Get to our resting spot. We'll upgrade what we can because I know we just finished another one. So and we'll fast travel and keep this mission going. Feels like an eternity, but. Let's get this thing rolling. Got some evolution. No upgrades though, which is irritating. So I only have one, oh, I only have one of them. Okay. Um, restores 5% health. Like that's not great, you know what I mean? Maybe ensnare makes more sense, I feel like. 5% is not enough health. Over here we have some stuff too. Uh, damage taken is reduced by 25. While enemy, oh, damage taken is reduced, oh, while an enemy is affected by snare. That, that's actually pretty good. Spirit points, but no. Let's do that, actually. And then that way we've lo un unlocked this group. This grouping here. Yeah, each one has their own. Fusion. Each new ability you unlock. And then they're tied to that, so. Leap is pretty good, but I have everything in the leap category. Same thing with Unveil. We have all these things already. Oh shit, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to fast travel. Damn it. God damn it, and you have this giant animation. Oh, god damn it, now that's a waste. So now in order to get that back, I have to rest. Dude! <laughs> uh. Okay, so where are we off to? Oh, we're heading back to the Dark Woods, so maybe we'll be starting with the Dark Woods when we come back. It's possible that, like, the last mission could just be a boss fight. Like, you don't really know, you know what I mean? Oh my god, I keep bumping F instead of hitting E. I don't know, I've done that so many times today. Um, Can you feel the tension? I wouldn't say it's grindy, but okay, I mean to get I'm alternate endings, that's pretty normal. What are you doing here? I don't believe it. You're back. Why? Good day to you too, thick skin. How do things stand since last I saw you? Would it please you to hear all is well and you are the author of it? Well, all is not well, and yes, you are the author of it. Kate is gone. Where? Why? We had an argument. Harsh words were spoken. She left for the woods. I would have you bring her back. I don't have time to go chasing after her. What makes you think I do? You will do me this favour. After all, the situation is at least in part your fault. Surely she'll cool off and come round. Then you can talk things out. What's there to talk about? Just bring her back. We've work to do. Perfect. One sister won't stay and talk. The other won't sit and listen. She's probably gone to the hunting lodge she likes to spend time in. Near the road to Boston. Find her. Bring her to her senses. Then send her back here. Send her home. Oh, I don't care. Around camp. The word on what? Do you know anything about Kate and a certain Grace? That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Why do you ask? I found a letter, an old one, addressed to Grace, but mentioning Kate. It helps to know who she is. I can't help you. And if I could help you, I wouldn't. After all that has happened, Kate's tale is hers to tell, and hers alone. But you admit you knew her, Grace. I'm guessing she's from New Eden. 
Ask Kate, for I'll say not. All right, then. One last question. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? Seeker, you say? Now this I can answer. I've never heard that name in my whole life. Well then, I'll be leaving. Okay, even listen to me. Let's talk to her and find out. Oops. Do we know where she is? Where's Kate? I'll find Seeker. Well, where the fuck is Seeker at? We don't know where she is yet. I mean, originally she was in... Ceridian Island, no? Yeah, she, Seeker's... It says ask Seeker about this. So we gotta go here. I think. We'll try it. Yeah, I know I have to find Kate. We don't know where Kate is, though. We don't know where Seeker is, either. So we gotta find Seeker to find Kate. But the game's not telling me where Seeker is. So I'm gonna go to this waypoint here, because I know that's the one. So maybe that's where she is. She wasn't in the house. So I'm almost wondering if uh, I can even do it right now. Maybe we can ask Sika about the Rumble's mirror. Clever. But where is she? We don't know where she is, bro. Strange how I barely knew Ceridian. Yet feel like I've lost someone deeply important. Fuck, man. There's no waypoint.
Hold on. Um. Severed ties. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, which one was severed ties? Was any of these? Like, is it a haunting case? I actually don't remember at all. It's probably none of these, honestly. Yeah, I didn't think so. I looked at these already, didn't I? Yeah. I don't get it. Fine. There's really no information. They did not expect the ritual to fail, nor to be found. They set up to find the young witch and ask for help. Maybe I gotta look around this area a little yeah. more. manual on how to hide from men. Wish I had one. This is really stupid, man. I don't know what to do. Wait, hold on. There's one here. Let me see. Where is that mission? Oh, was it? Oh, shit. Did I miss something? Sorry, I didn't see that. So it's almost like... It's it's like a mission. It's like... Oh, Jesus, what am I doing? So I have to go back to... The, I probably have to go back to the camp then, don't I? Spirit unbounding. No, that's not it. This one. Oh, there. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, we'll fast travel to the hunter's camp. Sorry, I didn't see that. My bad. Alright. Um, where's the nearest campfire? Over here. It's linked by an activity. I think it just depends on your choices, too. Because Kate would have been... If I had uh, killed... What's her name? Thick skin. Kate would be there, probably, right? That, that just wasn't very... Um, Straightforward, I must say. So I, I've just wasted a bit of time. Sorry about that, guys. It's the first time we've actually been had to do a uh, not a side mission, but an activity. We've we've done like a ton of activities to do missions. We'll see how long one of these activities is then. If the map is correct, the treasure must be hidden nearby. I'm sure the treasure is nearby. What kind of treasure would it be? Watch, by this point it's probably nothing better than what I've already got. There's actually a side mission in here too. Makes me wonder if this. Okay. Back here, monster. Oof. How's Bowes, lady? Oh, Mr. McGrath. 
<laughs> you are a monster. Thank God! I mean, I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord. <sighs> well, I have thoroughly embarrassed myself. Forgive me, if you can. Think nothing of it. How do you know my name? Who doesn't? You slayed the beast, by God's grace. I admit I thought you a charlatan. I told the newsmiths they get nothing for their money. Mistress Evelyn Fitcher, by the way. I'm what passes around here for a position. Red McCraith, banisher of ghosts and slayer of the terrible beast. How may I help you? I need no help. I just scared myself. These days I'm afraid of my own shadow. I uh, was gathering plants in the woods. I thought I was attacked by a ghost. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? She's haunted, clear as day. That's not ridiculous, no. If you're haunted, I'm not this... able to help you. I'm not haunted. I just took fright, is all. But if you really want to help, this is one of the side when missions. When I ran, I dropped my bag. It has my medical equipment and supplies. Could you get it for me? Medical supplies are valuable. A shame to lose them. We'll see what I can do. May God's goodness go with you. If you're serious. I still can't tell if you're a serious man. Yeah, see, that's a side mission. We're going to ignore that for now. You are such a good man. Banisher. Rebel. Finder of lost baggage. And Beetlehead. He forgot Beetlehead. <laughs> Love that. You gotta love that. That's that increase too because I did a power. Things are amplified. The damage. That's why I have huge damage right now, so I'm gonna keep going with it. Here in the crevice. Evelyn Fitch just lost bag. How did she manage to drop it down there? As I'm ignoring it for now. <laughs> it's right there. Normally your boy would be like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it, but. I feel a draft. From the invisible. Man, she must be on like top of a mountain or something, because. We're going further and further away the more we travel.
All right, we're finally there. Kate, where is she? Of course, she's not here. Good day to you, sir. I'm Red McRae. I'm the Banisher. You ass. No dust. Oh, never was here. Took all the guns. You'll have to make do with what you've got. Rose, consider this my farewell. I do not know what irritates me the most, that you still do not want to admit that what you did was wrong, or that you will probably never read this. No, all things considered, what annoys me the most is that I chose to write you this before leaving for good, and will lack the courage to chuck it in your face. I now know I will not, not be able to make you open your eyes to what you did. I set this, th these deaths on you where they belong. This is your burden and not mine. To watch you pretend that nothing happened, that life goes on unbothered, suffocates me. Better I leave, better for you, for me, and for all those who still trust you. Poor souls, if, they only, if only they knew. I'll not tell them. I leave it to you and your conscience, if you have one. Goodbye, Rose. You are in charge of for good. I shall away to Boston. Worry not for me as I walk along the cliff and away. Worry instead for the sake of your own soul, Catherine. It's more serious than thick skin knew. Maybe there's still time if we make for the bridge to Boston. The bridge to Boston, oh, the bridge to Boston. Oh, this is the short way down. Good, I'm glad they did this. There's always a quick way. Doesn't seem that quick though. We're getting further away. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Of course. Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy them. There's another one. There's never any. There's rarely two. Ah, oh, I see it. All right, there they are. Okay. God, man. Did she leave Wild goose spies? chase. If she did, she can't have gone far. Wolf pack. No blood, though. She did drop her notebook. I promised I would write no more as I swore I would speak no more. My thoughts need ink. I fear to ease my mind. So, my love, forgive this newest broken promise and let me speak in the silence of my journal. What I've seen in the woods, my heart cannot endure. Betrayal and rage from beyond the grave. Bones and skulls and fangs and claws. Behind all this, my cold-hearted sister stands. And over the putrid carcass stands my long-lost beloved. How can I mend this? How can Rose mend this? How how have the new smiths fallen? My sister stood before the carnage of her disgrace and did not blink. I hit her, screamed at her, and railed against her. She was unmoved. I must go. Our arguing surely puts the camp at risk. Ignorant of the truth, the people watch my tearful rage and fear me. They crave peace in mind of mind, and so do I. The only other way to bring them to serenity they need would be to expose the dark soul of my sister. I'd rather be a coward than throw another victim to the wolves. He writes really well. There's emotion in every word. I'm jealous. Writing's good when you struggle to express your feelings. Red McRae, you express altogether too many feelings already. Aye, but you like that about me. Right, let's find Kate and get her talking. Oh, wrong.
wrong way. I hope she's okay. I mean, she's got to be okay. She's got to be alive. She's here. Banisher? Hi. How did you find me? Thickskin said I might find you here when she sent me looking. I don't want to hear it. I found your journal, Kate. Stop lying to yourself. How dare you? I dare, because you care. Come on, say it. Get it out. I'm afraid to. It will be all right. I promise. I don't want to care. I don't want to care for them. I don't want to care for thick skin. Aye, but you do. And you can. As long as you care for yourself, first of all, so... What's it to be? I'll go. When I'm ready, I'll return. But she will step down. Further, and you may tell her this, I do not care to keep her secret. Not no more. All right. I'll tell her it. All of it. So I still have to tell her about it. I'm not Why done with you, though. You leave me alone? I'm trying to track someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I doubt I'll be much use, but I'll help you if I can. So, I found your name in an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You're tenacious. I'll give you that. But must you push so? Deborah wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. No one ever saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? What happened to Grace? I don't know that either. There had been strife with her father. Then she was gone. And the captain spoke of her no more. Deborah wrote the letter in February 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. Could Grace have survived alone out here in the woods? Possibly. But could she remain unseen? No. All thought she'd left New Eden. Gone west, perhaps, into the wilds. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? Deborah spent much time walking the woods, trying to understand New Eden, she said. Now that you mention it, I remember a snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here. Southeast, across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine. If it's still there. Goodbye, Kate. And be careful. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Ask Pennington. Where's the nearest fast travel? I mean, Pennington's, I think, pretty close. <sighs> Here, Shikel, how you doing? We'll just have to be coming back here.
haunted house. Shall we? Ah, uh, it's another case. Oops. Damn, where is she? Or where is he, I should say. Where the hell is this guy, man? It seems like we're doing a lot of backtracking. Symbols. The hut may be near. I sense magic. Could Seeker be here? Oh, this is the Seeker one. Oh, this isn't about Pennington. Oh, my bad. I went the wrong way. I thought this was... My eyes, if you like. Hmm. I wonder if we could still do it. I would have gone and done that, but... I just assumed this was the one. So I'd essentially have to go back. Nothing here.
This can't be a coincidence. Could Grace be Seeker? Dusty. Seeker hasn't been here for a long time. So was anybody even here then? Anyone home? Fine wardrobe, the youngster. They're rags. And they won't help us find her. Right. knew about this place. Focus on the matter at hand, Red. I am. And the greatness of the shadow is found not only in magic, but also in the world beyond. Thanks to this is yet unsuspected power, the darkness becomes an ally, a protective arm that cradles and protects us, allowing a perfect illusion to the untrained eye. Darkness envelop me, protect my illusion from the light. Fool the senses, blind my enemies, and allow me to live behind the, cur the curtain of an alternate reality. I'm almost successful. The ritual of dissimulation is not complete enough, but I must be able to perfect it in my own way. Not surprising coming from a demonology book. They, they, they have always been far too narrow-minded to broaden their vision. But with this base, I'll be able to create the perfect illusion spell. Maybe I should go thank him. After all, he took a big risk in copying this ritual. Perhaps if our paths cross again, then I will thank my latest friend. More demonology. Unusual for a witch. These two schools of magic don't usually see eye to eye. Perhaps Lamy could help us with this spell. Deborah, I hope this letter will find you safe and healthy. I did find the hut, but I'm not staying. I can at least be myself, studying all the things I love. How can anyone be scared of magic? Isn't it a wonderful thing? I have found a safer place, hidden away. A place where I could learn safe, safely and invisible to all. Thanks to you, I may finally live free, away from him and his need for control. He never acted the father, only a tyrant who called the shots and left no place for difference of opinion. He never tried to understand me. Now all this belongs in the past, and a new life awaits me. A life where I can no longer have to be his daughter. In a way, he and I can both be free. Thank you for your help. I hope to see you soon, your student. Right there. Fall from grace. That's not funny. Nice Neither pun. Is this. Aye. Fair enough. She's very clever. Whoa, hello. Seeker drew this. Now we know. She's so Seeker is Grace Pennington, which is crazy to me. And it makes sense, and we honestly. Need the catalyst. The circle powers the door, but I don't know the symbol. I don't know it, but I think Lammy might. We did well to come here. Now we know where she's hiding. Soon we'll be able to use the pond. All we need is the key to the dissimulation spell, and Lammy Haskell will help us with that. Right, sure. All right, well, I am going to, uh, since I'm here, I'm and I have to travel a long ways anyway, I might as well uh, go ask Pennington. But I don't, I'm not really near a campfire. I don't know why there's none around here. I think there would be, but let's pull it up. Maybe there is, and I just haven't seen anything. I and mean, we're not far from the hunter's camp, but it's also like in an annoying spot. So what I might do then is just fast travel, or sorry, just go here, highlight that. If that, I mean, it's 285 meters, but I have to go through the windiness of this area. Who knows what I'll find though. What's crazy is I haven't been able to upgrade anything. I mean, like, I haven't had any material. I have so many materials except for the ones I need. You'd think at, the, at this point, it would do something for me. Because I really want to wear the new garb. I should double check and see what, uh, what areas drop that. So I, I literally have been wearing this outfit since the Whatever beginning. Whatever it is, out with it. Oh, now what I say is worth listening to. Only when it doesn't slow us down. You're in an awful hurry. It's as if you can't wait to leave. It's not like that. 
It's complicated. Aye, all right. I believe you. Yeah, they seem to be at the same camp. Like, look. I just want to see my inventory. Nest silt. going on the map. That's Lammy. Where's the other one at then? The Harrows. It's in the other direction? Oh yeah, it's up at Fort Jericho. So literally, it was the same distance. It was the. It looked like the same distance, meaning I was like, "Oh, it must be the exact same spot." It's not. It's literally the exact same distance in opposite directions, which is pretty interesting. What are the odds of that? I wonder what the map actual map size is, like in actual realistic terms. The mood is heavy. What happened? There's been death. We know this. Drop the innocent looks on. I'm not buying. And if we banished him, we wouldn't that be able to have this conversation. That escaped to a cell and you swan in here without a care in the world. You expect me to believe the two unrelated? Is he looking for a new scapegoat? Already? Answer the question, McGrath. Where is Ellen Priest? Lost your prisoner, have you? Well, I can't blame her for running, but I can not tell you this. I had not a thing to do with it, and I don't know where she is. I should lock you up for this. You'd enjoy that, wouldn't you? All right, Captain. Settle down. Walk me through what happened. I... I don't know what happened, not exactly. The cell keys have vanished, a mutineer with them. Now, her character is one part vinegar and the other malaise. Who knows what bitter treason she now foments. She can't have gone far. If the mountains haven't killed her, she'll be somewhere near a bounce. While she remains out there, flapping loose like an undone mainsail, there can be no trust in here. Find her, McGrath, and I shall believe you. Find her, and do what must be done. What do you know of a young woman named Grace? I don't know where you heard that name, Banisher. But you should not say it again. It's important, else I wouldn't ask. Important or not, you'll have no answer. After all I've done, I rather think you owe me it. The four told you. That much is true. But the debt will be settled some other way. I read the name on a letter. It was a very interesting missive. According to this letter, what happened to Grace was entirely your fault. No. The fault was hers. She was... She was stubborn. Take ownership, the jackass. The letter told quite the tale. I'd like to hear your side of it. I have heard tell, sir, of the contumacious Scots, and I did not hear wrong. 
You are indeed relentlessly, perversely, bloody-mindedly obstinate. Why the mystery? A stubborn, difficult child. Always quick to disobey. Especially when the orders were mine. Never understood her antagonism or hostility. A sheer bloody-minded antipathy. She didn't get it from her mother. Now I have no daughter and it is all the better for all concerned. The letter was clear. You're to blame for what happened to her. She has no one to blame but herself. I tried to prevent it. She would not listen. I hurt her. <laughs> that, sir, is laughable. I worked hard to make up for her mistakes. So she would not pay the price for them. Whatever you did seems to have made things worse. I stood firm. That, sir, is what must be done. And that, sir, is what I do. I stand firm. Want to tell me what happened? If you must know it, I, I sent her away. I exiled her. Why? Why would you do that? She left me with no choice. I caught her in an act of sin. I caught her reading, studying witchcraft, sir. I caught her studying witchcraft. There was a book. I don't know where it came from. I'm damned if I could get rid of it, but she would not put it down. Not even after I forbade it. Now, why does Lamy Haskell suddenly spring to mind? And Deborah, too. Though Deborah was innocent, you accused her of witchcraft. Do you deny it? Deny it? I claim it. By law, she was no witch. But neither was she innocent. She was poison. The ruin of her children. She corrupted my grace. I am a much changed man with the intervening years. Looking back, with the benefit of experience, I was entirely right. I would not change a thing. If I came to learn your daughter survived, if I knew where she was... No, I have nothing to say to her. For me and all who know me, Grace Pennington is long dead. Think what you will of me. I care not. I did what was necessary. And I'd do it again. And that is all there is to say. So if we want to find her, that's an activity. I mean, I don't really want to bring her back. I kind of want her to be like, you know, go. Because uh, we didn't really want to sigh with him, but we had. We didn't really sigh with him. We, it was kind of confusing, that whole decision. Lovely man, really. And this, this mission's having us going, like, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's kind of annoying. So. Don't miss out on double. They're not yet over your accusations, it seems. I like how the decisions do change people's, like, you know, think about how people talk about you. Banishes. You are a sight for sore eyes. And I do admit my eyes are sore. Lamentation. Or are you the Honorable Mr. Haskell now? Are we interrupting? Yes, you are. But your interruption is the latest of many. Things are not going well. We found a page ripped from a book. Yeah, do you recognize it? Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildew page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. 
I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, not done. We know. But we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This Seeker... Is she Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find her. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. Shit, sorry guys. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? You never again tried to find your best friend. Your only friend. Well, you see... Some weeks later, the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down, and Grace was better off out of it. I was right. And I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please. Ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Oh, my. What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Araloo. Of course you fucking did. In the void. God damn it. That's just great. Just great. Yes, but in my defense, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park. Comparatively speaking. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that... I'm still her friend. I'd be glad to see her again. Once we found her, we'll be glad to tell her. We gotta get out of here. Oh, hello. I wonder if there's like an after game too. Or maybe it's what, like, see how there's all these like optional missions. Whoops, I did it again. They have a campfire there, but it doesn't seem to be accurate of where we're going. Where is it? Oh, it's hidden. The mill house again. The Mills House, not Mill House. And where the Mill House 500 is? Mill House! At least we have a quick way.
<clears throat> oh, now we can go through this, right? Here. Stains bar the path. Still no ghostly spectral spiders hiding away in there, no? Good. Man, I didn't even look at how much uh, the moss I had and all like the basic collectibles. I've been picking up so much and not spending it on anything. I probably have so much. Look, I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. I rely on you. Your presence reassures me. I dread your absence. I can barely bring myself to think about it. I don't wish to deny your pain. Just try to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. There's more of them. Move yourself! Ooh, big damage, baby. Damn, she dominated that entire dominated that entire interaction. That was awesome. See what I mean? Like she is getting more powerful because I'm doing these side missions, right? So he's not really advancing because I'm not finding the crafting materials I need to upgrade everything, and I'm not getting anything really new. But we are continuing the story, right? This is a, this is a story based one. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I, I remember I figured as much because they're they're in the gold category, so they're quest related. It's probably one of those activity missions that I have to do to learn the spell. I just don't I don't know what they get, but I have a ton of those things. Our book isn't here. Our book might be up there. I might need some help. I might be able to give it. Where? Oh, I see. Um, that's in a weird spot. Can I climb it from here, maybe? Yeah, this one's in a weird spot. Well, this looks like Lamy stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. All right, the Trismegistus riddles. Symbol, downward pointing triangle. The symbol means balance, simplicity, solidity. Not really used by the demonology school of magic. The symbol 
uh, will be preferred to those witches, women who call themselves scientists. It is mainly used for illusions or any other spell that s deceives the primary senses. To undo this kind of spell, focus on the origin of the spell and order the spell to be undone on behalf of the caster. Also specify what the spell should undo and what the meaning it should release from that spell. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. Yeah, I don't jinx it. Need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. Can I not jump back? Ah. I don't like that. Did you hear that? First things first, Red. Oh, we got a oh, we got a hoarding harvester. Oh, it's a big poppy. Slippery wee shite, don't you? Oh, I didn't mean to waste. That was trash. Oh, I got a switch. You shouldn't stay in there. Big damage there. Oh, big hit there, but a good thing I healed it. They would have killed me. They never learn, do they? Not doing shit. It's in the wrong cast. Switch back. Fly one. Let's finish this bad boy up. Standing by. You, pr you know what? Just fucking finish him off. He has like no health. I was hoping to. Scourge accretion. I need the silt, but I think the silt comes from those nests. Do you remember the nests? They're kind of like the same thing you summon, but they're like considered an easier one. You know what I'm talking about? Like, they introduced me to those earlier on. I still wouldn't. You'd think some of them would still give me silt, but. It's still going to be a process. I don't even know how much silt I get. What is this? Okay, if, hold on. If I, I know this is wrong, but let me summon and see if I can. I know this is how you get out. I, I, I just want to see if I can actually summon this with this and do a little mini fight right now. I don't think so, though. I think this is just my way out. Yeah, it's worth a try. Worth a try. <laughs> It's got to get silty with it. Oh, wrong way. Then again, I, I did get silt elsewhere uh, from other things since I've been upgrading over the time, and I've only done one of those nests like one time. Oh, God. Ah, that 
corpse to take it in. Make a run for it. See, like her damage just amplifies. It's so good, and it keeps going. We're approaching level 20. Yeah, I think that's what they are. I can't remember. Have me go. This thing doesn't actually know where it wants me to go. Oh, I actually have to call it, Smarty. I forgot this is an actual like lift to take me up there. Oh, we actually have to wait for it. Are you fucking serious? Damn. Shame none of my upgrades need soul shards. You see, nothing's upgradable. Right now, I think everything requires a silt. Well, this one requires an elite gem. So that's not completely true. The brooch. Nest silts and elite gems. I don't have enough nest silts. That's what I'm waiting on right now, big players. Nest silts are like the one of the most common upgrades. This one requires two elite gems. My rifle is probably required. Yeah, see? They all require it. But like, this is maxed out. I wish I could tag in some of this stuff. Just so I could upgrade the blessed garb. I know we lose a bit of health and everything, but that's because it's not upgraded yet. So if we upgrade, like this thing is down two levels, if we or like three levels. So this is three levels above it. This one requires nest silt. This requires one nest silt. This one requires nest silt. See what I mean? Like we have enough of everything else, but just requires a bunch of shit. Which really sucks. I wish you could buy it. Because that, that would be like... But they want you to do those things. I'm sure there's tons of nests around I could cleanse, but I'd have to encounter them. Like, if I see one, I'm going to do it, because the nests are relatively easy at this point, you know? But lately, what they've been doing, since I've been just upgrading the, the weapons and armor that I have... Um, they're not actually giving me anything new, so by the time I do get something new, it's under-leveled. It's like, well, obviously I'm gonna upgrade what I have to make it better. And the watches are going to be like, oh, now run all the way back this way. I was looking. I didn't really see any fast travels, guys. I know I'm using the wrong creature for this. But sometimes it's best.
I'm right here, you know. I love the ones that are one hit kills too. Hopefully after this mission we get a level up to 20. I feel like there there was a fast travel that I could have dealt with. She's been gone for so long, too. This is it. Seeker is behind this wall. Let the veil of unknowing, of unknowing be, lifted. be lifted. Let us Let see, see through, through the eyes of Grace Pennington. Pennington. So I'm just chilling there. I slide in. Sarazian? You're surprisingly slow, even for a banisher. You're late. Or early. At last we find you. Missed me that much, did you? You could have hurried. You always think you have more time. And suddenly you don't. It wasn't in vain. We have come far and learned much. I hope so. But don't think you have it all figured out. You're still banishers, after all. We are indeed, Grace. So, you know. I know you're Pennington's daughter. Still, can I see the family resemblance? In the end, neither could he. I must have hoped. The dear captain is many things, but he is a Puritan through and through. And I, his daughter, am a witch. I defied him. I sought forbidden knowledge and stepped beyond the boundaries. At the end of that most painful of journeys, Grace was dead. And Seeker was born. Yes, it hurt. But it was worth it. I accept it now. I accept it all. Ceridian has left a hollow, and I am called to fill it. I accept. I am ready for my role in this world. Are you ready for yours? We looked for you everywhere. Why did you leave the Maya marshes? I needed time. Silence. Me own space. Hidden away behind Lamy Haskell's dissimulation spell. Oh. You know about that. It held a full seven years. Isn't that impressive? This is the place where I embraced solitude. This is where I made it a strength. As a child, I hated being alone. It left me vulnerable to a deceptive creature. To have the gift with neither mastery nor guidance can be very dangerous. By the time I was able to banish my supposed friend, I had come within a whisper of losing my entire family. To vanquish such an insidious spirit alone, you were either very lucky or immensely talented. In the void, I felt... I felt as if it were there. I felt it call to me. Perhaps it was. But chase the fear from your heart, for you are stronger now, Antea Duarte, and you are no longer alone. You learned magic by yourself? Not really. Not at all. First, Lamy Haskell's forbidden books told me that magic was real. They say you must look out for the quiet kids. And that was me and Lamy. Reading those books opened my eyes to worlds of wonder. But I did not learn witchcraft until Ceridian found me. Lamy showed me the view from the prison window, but my mistress walked me right out the door. 
Lamy was relieved to hear you're well. He talked about paying you a visit. When I was exiled, he was the only one who'd help. Sweet boy. But now is not the time for visitors. Later, perhaps. Later, when you have lifted the curse. The boy will be disappointed. He has a thing for witchery. I'm gonna see what she has. Honestly, just in case you can buy what I need. Oh my god. I can buy nest silt? Oh, I can buy one of them. So she... I see. So if I want... Is there anything I could sell that I don't need? They're not worth much, guys. That's real. So I can upgrade it one time. Oh, it's getting cheaper. Oh, that's. Oh no, no, that's she. She's got shit. Honestly, I can't afford it. I haven't been picking up any money, so it's kind of like. I, I mean, honestly, exile or attire. annoying I can at least upgrade one I suppose anyway the time has come for us to go back to New Eden and face the night so I can upgrade it one time and it makes me wonder is it should I upgrade continue to upgrade that or you must face your fate and end the curse I don't know Ceridian said the only way back was through the void but the pond seemed broken we need your help of course you do we're listening remember Ceridian's words if you were to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. We've never been stronger. This void breach is not like the others. This one... leaks. This one sits at the rotten core of the entire region. You must leave whatever still burns in your hearts at the threshold. If you don't, the void will kill you. Do you know where in New Eden Town the Void shall lead us? The trick is to focus on your happiest memories and let them take you there. At least that's how it's always worked for me. We'll try. And when at last you succeed, I too shall return to New Eden Town. I shall see you there. Man, I wish she wasn't so stingy. We'll take our leave. Bring peace to this troubled land and your troubled hearts, my friends. I know it's not easy to hear. Especially when it's me. The thing is, even upgrading it twice might be enough. Country. Thank you, Seeker. We'll do our best. Please have some silts in here. Ah, oh, Ethereal Braid. It's probably not as good as what we have. They've seen better days. As have we all. Oh, I'm this new place a lot better than the old one. I was a different person then. Bed looks like shit, but. Yoink. Serious about old Moss Head. Alright, I miss my mistress so much. More than anything, I miss her teaching and her presence. Am I ready? I know she prepared me for something, but for what? There are so many things I don't see clearly. Why did Ceridian remain so elusive when asked about what now awaits me? I never totally believed her when she told me so many mysteries were eluding her. I'm convinced she only tried to protect me by refusing to respond when I insisted. After their final meeting, it is obvious she knew exactly who old Moss Head was. The way the Spectre checked his watch, the anger in his voice, even his name, all saw... Was the spirit some uncanny, horrid incarnation of my father? I remember every word from one of Ceridian's most obscure teaching. For the unbalance will be so strong, even the dead may come back from the future you already faced. Was old Moss had some punishment conceived for me by the nightmare hiding in New Eden? What did Ceridian exactly kn knew, exactly know about some events to come I already faced? Like all the other inhabitants of New Eden, I'm afraid my fate relies the thing hiding in New Eden's meeting house. Soon though enough, I better go there. Okay. To this day, my exploration of the new world has been a succession of disappointment and frustration. Despite months of searching through the colonies and contrary to the hypotheses I had formulated after studying John White's report, I found no trace of Volkods or any other type of vampire. Roanoke Island turned out 
uh, to be deserted and abandoned, even by its native population. Continuing my investigation further north, I tried to find this uh, mysterious Crescent Island, which, according to local sailors, had recently vanished. Once again, my search proved fruitless, despite my most recent maps. There was no island to be found, and w I was left with the strangest feeling, as if a malignant willpower soared upon the water to divert approaching ships. Everything here is so different from European society, even if rooted... Uh, in the same occult traditions. Still, I am convinced that terrible mysteries lurk upon these unknown coasts and islands and lands. Everywhere I go, under the ve veneer of faith and purity so typical of the New World colonies, I read traces of occult and evil presence. I have compiled in these pages the fruit of my research and observations, hoping they will help other brothers in the years to come. For more than ever, I remain convinced that the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole needs more local watchers capable of cross-referencing information. We must keep a watchful eye on the phenomena that we that have already taken place or will soon take place here. If they are not already hiding among mortals, it won't be long until the blood drinkers settle here. Our watchers must investigate and report any sign of implementation before deciding if we shall call for a ban of the dragon. As soon as I am back in England, I will ask for volunteers amongst our brothers to settle in these overseas colonies and discreetly pursue our sacred mission. This should be useful. Keep it unlocked. Find the old writings by the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. American Vampire. Oh, isn't that's a reference to Vampire, their other game. That's why. Oh, okay, it's like an Easter egg. That's funny. I never even never What's even occurred that? to me. That is not your concern. That's funny. Cool. Alright, well, let's go ahead and cross the void one more time. I don't know if as soon as we cross the void. If it'll start the next mission. I hope it does, because I'm tired as fuck, so. It's been a long day. She's the custodian now. May she have all the wisdom of her mentor, and more. I wish I had half the wisdom of mine. You're not as stupid as you sound. You'll be fine. I'll have to, take, I'll have to look carefully as I select my upgrades, because there's going to be other things that's going to show me right off the bat. I have new inventory upgrades across the board. My f oh man, these bad boys have been needing an upgrade for so long. See, this is what's interesting about this is they require a nest silt, so it's like, do I? I need I, those are low. I didn't realize those are only at a four. This will bring them to a five, so melee damage will go up. This is something that's been out of out of my range, but it's possible if I wait, I might actually get new melee weapons that are better. But if I look here, the blessed garb. Let's take a look where it goes. 23 goes to 26, uh, and everything else is actually pretty good. I would very much like to wear these, but so that's what I mean. If I just got an extra nest silt, this would be even better. So it goes to 29. Ultimately, this goes to a 32. So it's not possible. So it, physical resistance is going to stay at 32 until you fully upgrade it, right? That's the maximum. Uh, but if we compare it... Um... I wish we can compare it. Hold on one second. Shit. So, what goes down? Strength is... with. What's interesting about this one is the strength is going to drop it regardless. Oh, wait. No. No, it will go... Well, it will. It should go up. 17, 20. It goes up to a 23. Shit. What am I doing? Damn it. So what's my current one? So the strength, it, it's just, it, it will be the same until I max it. So here's my question. Maybe I'll just hold on to it, not upgrade it, because it's going to be worse. I mean, the outfit seems cool and all, but there's no sense in spending it until I know for a fact it's going to be worth upgrading. It's going to be costly. Like, really, it is. I don't know which mission is considered the point in no return. I think the last one is. So I think we have, once we're finished this one, there's only two more missions to go. But those are going to be saved for the final stream. Obviously because we have some grinding to do. Well, not so well. We have to do the rest of the uh, haunting missions. I know there's going to be an achievement for, doing, achievement for doing that as well. It'll tell you. I think this game does have a point in no return. Oh. Well, there you go. Okay, no, we're not going to do it then. This is when love... I know for a fact this is when the love finds a way mission ends. And so, therefore, like, once we cross into the void, that's going to be it. I wasn't sure if it was here or the, the next one. So, this is where it's going to end. So, 
here's where we're gonna stop then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna put this one on hold I guess if I'd known that maybe I would have just done it elsewhere but uh, so the last two missions are gonna be in the void I guess I'm assuming it's gonna be like either a finale or whatever but yeah we'll save this now depending on what I'm going to do I don't know for sure if I'm gonna be getting Pacific Drive or not I don't know if it's my style of game uh, that does come out tomorrow but I might not uh, so we might actually be able to finish this game on Friday maybe come back to a Friday then if I end up not playing that game uh, tomorrow I'll probably if I don't play Pacific Drive I'll probably end up going to um, uh, sorry I'll probably end up going uh, with uh, Skull and Bones just because we haven't played that in a minute so we'll probably go with that um, but yeah so here we go guys I'm gonna leave it there thank you very much for watching longer stream today if you guys enjoyed the stream obviously make sure you leave a like Comment your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And make sure those post notifications are turned on as well so you don't miss anything I put out. Uh, be sure to like, follow my socials, Facebook, X, Instagram, Snapchat, Discord. Linked in the description below as well. Uh, if you want to get a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. Also an embedded feature right in the description. That'll show a preview of some of the items I have there. But ultimately, go to the website. You'll see the full list of products and colors and styles there. Uh, big shout out to all the sponsors, of course. DX Racer, Bose Coffee, The Ridge Wallet, Mad Rabbit Tattoo, and Jinx Custom Controllers. I use their products every day. And you can check them out for yourselves with the links in the description. Be sure to use my promo code Dank. 8,000 to save at checkout with them. Finally, guys, be sure to check out and sign up for the Team 8,000 membership program. If you haven't done so already, it supports the page immensely. There are four tiers with a wide variety of perks. Obviously, the higher up in the list, the better and more perks you're going to get. But the entry level is only 99 cents. It's cheap. It's easy. You can get into the program, no problem. Uh, for signing up, you're going to get things like custom badges by your name, custom emojis, shoes, and chat, exclusive video and stream access, priority and open lobbies, giveaways, discounts, plenty more. It does support the page immensely. Like I said, guys, we're trying to make our way back up into the 500s, which is where we left off as our highest point. If you guys want to join that, links are in the description. There's a join button below the stream, and there's one on my main channel page as well. You can gift members too if you want. Right next to the chat, you'll see that dollar sign. You click it, you'll get a drop down, and you'll be, bleh, you'll be able to see the gifted member option. You can gift anywhere from 1 to 50 with that method. Ultimately, uh, yeah, you can gift as many as you want, though, really. And you can also send super chats through that as well. All right. Well, guys, I will let you know as soon as I figure out more information. I'm going to do more research on Pacific Drive. It is a roguelike, which I'm not really into usually, but the style might be worth it. I don't know. And I don't even know if I'm going to get a review code kind of thing. So it's like, do I want to – I don't know if I, I – I don't know. I'm kind of in a weird – position with it so uh, I'll, I'll do some more research later and I'll, I'll let you guys know for sure if I'm gonna play that game ultimately if I don't you're gonna see probably skull of bones tomorrow and then back in this on Friday and to finish it off because we, next week we do have a ton of new games as well including uh, uh, what are the, some of the titles sorry there's a lot of remakes and things like, I was gonna say WWE but I'm like no that's the weekend that week after that so there's still a lot of stuff coming out next week and I want to make sure everything is done by then so make sure you tune in okay thanks guys for watching have a great rest of your day hopefully we catch you tomorrow all right guys thanks again see you next time Peace.